Ah, uh, very happy. Nick DiPaolo in studio. <clears throat> Hi. He, he admitted uh, Hi. right away that he's never seen Star Wars. Never seen it. Whoa. I find That's that actually kind of amazing. Fascinating. I, I hate that shit. Yeah? But yeah. you're old enough to... You, you know, fell right well, into the thing when it but, came out. You were probably of the age that was right in the demo. You didn't want to uh, see what it. What year was that? 77? Oh, right. I was into porn by then. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I was 15. Yeah, but, yeah. But all these yeah. years, you would assume you would just... I did See it I, somewhere. I, like ten years ago, it was on HBO. Yeah, this nice volume. Who built this piece of shit? Uh, <laughs> the it's cutting in out. No, no, it's the buttons. Fucking mm, whatever. Oh, all right. But uh, I tried watching like the first five minutes. Yeah. You know, a talking bowling trophy and a fucking black guy <laughs> with a hat. I, what the, you got to suspend your disbelief. And I can't. I don't fucking. It's like Scooby Doo. I hated that too. Everybody like Scooby Doo. I'm like, what the fuck? Then I. Cartoons, you know, uh, Foghorn Leghorn, a right, fucking yep. anvil would fa fall on a raccoon's head. That's funny. Right. Scooby Doo is just a detective show. You could do, you could use real actors. Yeah. <laughs> right. I, was, I never liked you know Scooby Doo I mean? either. I liked the old Warner Brothers cartoons. They were clever and <laughs> <That's> funny. <laughs> yeah. and, but like Scooby Doo came out. I was like, yeah, this sucks. The <laughs> animation <laughs> is terrible. The Scrappy Doo days were better. <laughs> oh, when his nephew would come and do it, that's adorable. Uh, oh, yeah, and they would yeah. be surprised every time when they had to pull the mask off. Yeah. Oh. Oh, yeah. When, when were they going to learn then? <laughs> Boy, they didn't get yeah, the didn't, criminals like putting masks on. They didn't change up the plot line right. of those shows. Oh, my God. It's like watching a regular TV show, only yeah. animated. Right. You know, cartoon, the whole idea is to have shit happen in, like, that a human yeah, couldn't survive. A shotgun right, right in a duck's face. Oh. And his bill spins yeah. around his head. <laughs> that type <Whoa>. of shit. <laughs> Wait, slow down. You can't show that anymore. Yeah, they, they took all that, that out. They took all that off TV. Yeah. One of the funniest things was Pink Panther. I'll not, I still remember the scenario. Like a, like a piano fell on his head and crunched him yeah. and he was all wrinkled yeah. so he laid himself on an ironing board and he started ironing and then the phone rang and he left the iron in his stomach and it, bur <laughs> and it burned a hole through his stomach Brilliant. and then he put a put a he put a clock in where the hole was in his stomach and the alarm went off and he vibrated out of the <laughs> fucking brilliant scenario <laughs> that could never happen oh, yeah, <laughs> exactly yeah. my point <laughs> although you don't have many dog solving crimes either <laughs> you know, unless the woman's like where did I lose my peanut butter <laughs> <laughs> detective Scooby on the case yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, shit. Uh, what's going on, Nick? Well, you know, I'm here uh, to plug Caroline's again. Nice. It's like, what is this, 1999 all over? <laughs> Fucking Jesus. When's uh, this weekend? Caroline's, Caroline's uh, tomorrow night, Saturday night, and Sunday night. All right, cool. Yes. You're not doing tonight? Huh? Thursday? No. You know why? I'll tell you why. We had a battle over money, and I ended up winning the battle on money, and Lewis knows I hate working Sundays, so he gives me the Sunday instead of the... Ah, uh, little fucking twist. <laughs> Well, That's my twist. theory. Yeah, I don't yeah. know. It's probably a good, a good theory. theory. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's probably a good theory. I think it's a good theory. He hates Sundays. Yeah. yeah. Got him on Sunday. <laughs> yeah, no, it's okay, Nick. It's, it's, it's... <laughs> why, do you, why do you hate Sundays? It's not a good night for comedy? I don't know. Yeah, I'd rather be home. It's usually home. game of the week on or something. Sure. Yeah. Relaxing. But, yeah, uh, I hear let's you. Let's be honest. Any, any day of the week, I don't want to work. <laughs> Yeah, who wants to? Yeah, you know. <laughs> Jimmy, you're going to be in Tampa. I, I was just there. Yeah. Side splitters. Is it right? good? Oh, it's, that's a great club. I've never done it. Oh, it's a fucking great club. Yeah. yeah I'm there at the 11th and 12th. The Side guy splitters. that owns it's a hard drinking. Really? Bobby. Oh, yeah, he's fucking great. He brings me to a steakhouse the minute we get there. Is he Irish? Uh, Bobby Jewell. I don't know. Oh, I don't know what, what? that is. He's a New Yorker, but he, you know, went to call and stand, but he I like, smokes uh, like three packs an hour, and drinks whiskey by noon time, he's got a quarter whiskey. You know? <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, that. he picks me up, he brings me right from the airport to a steakhouse. Oh, you know. Sounds nice. And had like, you know, I ate 70 pounds of red meat. <laughs> already, this guy already had prostate cancer, and he's eating like steak bigger than his forearm, <laughs> drinking wet. Good for him. I beat it! He's back on the cigarette. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, that's a great club. You gotta yeah. A lot of whoos come in and out of the place. It's nice. you got to respect the guys that uh, aren't affected by that stuff. They yeah. just go right back ah, to their damn. lifestyle. Right back yeah. to it. That amazes me. You'd think it's like, well, this was a, quite a wake-up call. <laughs> 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 uh, fucking uh, keep smoking away. I uh, love it. Uh, Real uh, men, they just keep going. Yeah, dude. I'm reading the no fat grams of the Twinkie package. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> like a twat. <laughs> <laughs> like some bitch. Uh, like a titless wonder. <laughs> But uh, uh, shit, me, me and Nick were talking about uh, the whole Obamacare thing and what? and uh, just uh, just po politics in general mm -hmm. and how this nation is just doomed and no one seems to be waking up. 
Well, they can't. Dancing with the Stars is on it. Uh, exactly. There's a plane missing. There's this. We got, we're got. we fixated on all these little peripheral things while we're just being robbed and raped <laughs> uh, as, as we go to work on a daily basis. If you told anybody back in the earlier days of the United States that the United States government and the state that you live in, or whatever, was going to be more than 50% partner with you in everything you do financially. No, exactly. They'd have packed up and gone back to fucking England. No, that's exactly right. And then all yeah. the young kids that voted this dope in and, and fucking and, and immigrants, they don't know the fucking true meaning of liberty, they I guess. They don't know. Like you said, you wanted to shoot a rabbit in your yard and cook it tonight. Right. You'll get arrested for that. You My grandmother used to do that. Yeah. She'd kill it with a baseball bat. That was a basic freedom. Nobody that said that. If you, if you told someone that that would be against the law years ago, they they think you were, you were crazy. I can't go out and hunt food for my family? Get out of here. Try, try planting a tree in your yard. You're going to go through like a year plant, and a half of paperwork. To plant plant one, tree. Try to take one down. <laughs> I had fucking inspectors and permits and shit just to cut a tree down in my yard. But Years it's your ago, property. You could clear an entire fucking field. <laughs> no one cared. Tribe. <laughs> yes, a tribe. But you could clear a whole tribe out of it. <laughs> but the, ten aracoids in your backyard. Get the fuck. And everyone coming. still gets up and t- and we are the freest nation and the freedom we should appreciate. It. It's being robbed from us on a daily basis at the smallest local level and at the highest federal level. Everywhere in between, we're being fucked. In the ass, and we we smile and watch Dancing with the Stars. Well, we don't know how to do it. I, I don't. I wouldn't even know how to get a hold of my congressman with you. Did you no. l- learn that in school? No. No. And they don't no want more. you to learn it. Well, you it get a hold when, of those guys. When, when you get when you see some of those clips of a man on the street interview with a congressman out in Washington, and they go up to him with a mic and go, uh, "Mr. Congressman right. or Mr. Senator," right. and they literally run away from them. Right. It's like you fucking represent me, you cocksucker. Well, that's that's what they don't even realize. <laughs> they don't. That, that they represent us. It's that, not the other. You know what I mean? You can fuck whole, up your yeah. congressman and go, you're fired, dickhead. I'm you your should boss. be able to go, look, asshole. You're, you're <laughs> fucking everything up on his desk, right in his face. Hey, you. But no, you get thrown out and arrested before you even get close to the joint. You see Chuck Schumer in a restaurant, you just slap him the side of the head right. on the way out. Hey, <laughs> hey, still <laughs> not. <laughs> Ah, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? You, exactly you, what everyone else does. Watch uh, some you start, fun TV. You start the revolution, we'll follow you. Yeah, that's well, I'm just 50. it. If I was 18, I'd join a militia tomorrow. Right? And I mean, uh, yeah, now I got bad shoulders, now. I got hips like Billy D. Williams. Uh, like, yeah. What am I going to do? Like that fucking... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's like Billy D. Yeah, it... it uh, was he in Star Wars, I take it? Uh, yeah, in the Empire yeah, Strikes yeah, Back. Yeah, uh, he was in two. one of them. Yeah. Yeah, he's not that Empire not Strikes this. Back. Yeah. The third one was a little What was weak. that about? Welfare? <laughs> <laughs> Love it. You It's so funny. You guys are talking about hell, and I'm in the car, and I'm screaming at the radio. <laughs> I stop screaming. I hear either Opie or Anthony goes, yeah, Nick's I, in the car, and I'm probably yelling in his radio. <laughs> that was me. I had I no guess. doubt. It's like, damn. That's what I heard as I stopped yelling. <laughs> I'm in the car going, it's a fucking ruse. Don't you understand? It is a ruse. This whole fucking thing. You got new insurance because you're a guy that doesn't have kids, and you got you got now you know pay. For I don't know, stuff. but I, I I know I can get my uh, yeast infections paid. Mm. Uh, That's good. I love it. Yeah, and uh, I, I know there's also this uh, uh, controversy with whether Catholic uh, religious organizations should have to foot the bill for birth control yeah. and abortions and things yes. like that. And that's kind of a tricky situation. It is a if tricky one. If you're going to adhere to the rules and say that the, the that you, you the churches do have a right. Uh, then you can't force them to pay for a woman's birth control if it's against their religion. Right, beliefs. good point. It's not about they pay taxes. Fuck them. Pony up. I'm Tired not of against that at all. Thank you. I absolutely <laughs> I agree think, with that too. I think the churches should have to foot the bill also for fucking too. taxes. Absolutely. And if yeah, if they want to say in, in what they should or shouldn't do, then pay your taxes, up. motherfuckers. And then and then you can use all the charity you do as a big you know, write-off. Sl- yeah. sl- slow down. Growing up, we were a church. You guys, oh, of course, the Hughes family was a church. We were what a you, church. What do you mean you were a church? My dad figured out a way. He's like, oh, oh my. Oh, we're a church. Yeah. We don't have to pay taxes. Yes. Oh, His real name God. is Greg Hubbard. I'm not yes. <laughs> no, ju- <laughs> The bad. funny thing is, Opie molested himself. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Can you blame him? <laughs> we actually were officially a church. 
<laughs> he found a loophole. But then he got mad if I, we didn't take the tax exempt uh, certificates with us, and so we could show them where church, so we don't we didn't have to pay taxes. Wait, you would go to a store with these tax exempt? I never did. It was, it was it was so embarrassing. And if you I, like I would, bought I, groceries and they said, no, all right, sixty like, dollars, and <laughs> wait, here's the tax. It, it was more ten. like getting you know some sneakers or something with your pals at the mall, and then my dad expected me to, to hand over this thing that proves that we're part of a church, wait, so I don't do? have to pay taxes. Did your dad build a steeple on your garage? <laughs> <laughs> he figured it out for a year or two. But what store Stained owner glass windows even knew in the about that? I don't know. This is like, the, did, did you have a store owner go, "What is this? No, you pay taxes." Some kind of tax that. exam certificate that you handed in. I really? Never really good. I never did it because, like I said, I'm a teenager. I was mortified. Yeah, that's a bit. So I had to go home and just lie. And go, yeah, we we did. It. Yep, it breaks. worked. It worked. How long did that scam go for? A few years, a couple of years. Buying yeah. a thousand hot pockets for our flock. <laughs> <laughs> a little loophole. Wow, I think they man. Close that loophole. Your man's I, brilliant. I, I don't think you wow. could just start a church like that anymore. There were people that would always do that. I like to. Uh, there was guys no. Would, there was no services or anything. Everyone, you understand this, right? Eh, it's a different type of. We church. just were a church. It's the church of the tax exempt. Yeah, exactly. You were yeah. the original Westboro Baptist. You make your signs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Our fucking Lady of Wesley Snipes. <laughs> well, you got to do what you got to do. My dad was. My, my dad was smart in that way. Yeah. Huh? I guess he knew he was getting fucked in the ass, so he he had some workarounds. Uh, there was always we all somebody, workarounds, right? Always somebody talking about the. T- Taxes and saying, you know, the law says you don't have to pay your taxes. It, you ever see those? You yes. get them on like Facebook. It's like, yes. All right, yeah, you give it a try. Yeah. Let me, yeah, let, let me know, know how it goes. Worked. Well, wasn't there some? Remember, there was some couple up in New Hampshire. Remember that they hadn't paid. That wasn't paying their taxes yeah. because they said, no, it's it's not a law. Where are they now? They're Your rotting in a jail be, somewhere. Exactly. Well, they sat in jail for that. He listened to that, and that was why he went to jail. You tell them uh, that. Hold on, we got. It doesn't hold up in court. We got a very pissed off guy. What? Uh, pissed at you and you. Uh oh. Uh, that would be Nick and Anthony. Uh, I, don't know and Sam. I like Obama. Uh, Jake and Philly, go ahead. Yeah, I'm going to talk to the uh, old, bitter millionaire. Get away my test, Jake. <laughs> <laughs> millionaires. I'm, sell- I'm selling uh, weed to kids in the afternoon. <laughs> my house. Uh, sir, what's, what seems to be your problem, Jake? My, my biggest issue was your guys' bullshit, cop-out argument of, oh, a couple generations ago, they would have gone crazy if they see what we're hmm. doing now. That's such a bullshit argument because literally three generations ago, they didn't know what fucking airplanes were. You have to evolve with the time. Don't get me wrong. Taxes aren't where they should be. There are some regulations out there that are bullshit. Don't get me wrong. But to go with that cheap-ass argument when you're sitting on a fucking gold throne in there, that's bullshit. Don't tell me. You know why? Because I could have two gold thrones, you fucking dick. That's right. The government is taking half my money. Don't look at me and say, oh, you're rich. It doesn't matter to you. I don't like having half my shit I earned taken. You try it, asshole. I it's not How about fifty percent? We'll do a percentage thing. How much do you make a year? Let the government take half. How will you feel? I Fuck l- you. I love how this guy thinks he would handle it differently hey, like if he had more money. Exactly. No. And if you had money, you'd fucking just troll a lot, throwing it around to everybody. <laughs> right. Fuck off. And it's not a gold throne, sir. It's a black seat with a fist on it. Exactly. <laughs> I'm just tiny. What? You're a fucking retard. You literally play, you, you go and you play blackjack. You play $30 hands. You have fuck you money beyond. $30, $30. hands? I play $3,000 <laughs> hands, you fucking asshole. <laughs> and you know why? Because it's my money to do it as I fucking please. Don't tell me because I spend my money irresponsibly that it's not my money. I could do whatever I want with it. I don't want the government telling me what I have to do with it to a point. I understand taxes are necessary. you got to keep the highways fucking paved and, 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 and shit running. I understand that. But I don't want my wealth going to other people that haven't achieved uh, uh, wealth. To equal things out below me. It's never supposed to be equal. No, it wasn't. It's a free market system. It was never equal supposed rights, to be fucking not equal. equal wealth. Mm-hmm. That's bullshit. That's uh, totally against uh, what this country's about. I understand, but my point is, Apparently not. you sound awfully hypocritical to literally <laughs> spend all of this money the way you do and Ooh. then complain when you have yeah. to write a little check. You, a little yeah, check? A little hey, check. dick face. You don't understand how <laughs> big the checks are that I have to write to government agencies. You don't get it. You're not educated enough to fucking uh, voice this argument with me. You don't know. You don't know the amount of taxes I fucking pay. And no one has a right to tell me whatever money's left over how I can or can't fucking spend it. 
blow me, man. You fucking, you, you're the hypocrite. No, you're not getting the point. You're right. not getting the point. Yeah, I yeah. am. It's, it's not anything about how educated or uneducated I am. Right. Fuck that point. It's not it's educated. Fact, I said you're ignorant. Okay, well, okay, a little bit. Ignorant has nothing to do with education. He said really. he wasn't educated enough to do it's, it. Yeah, okay. We're well, good. <laughs> <laughs> well, you don't have enough... <laughs> you don't have enough knowledge. <laughs> what? Okay. No, okay. Go ahead. I you keep talking. So, no, it, it, it comes down to the fact that on one hand, on just all that I'm looking at is your personality on the show. So right. Like that, whatever. Good point. You, on one hand, you'll sit there and go, I went to uh, Borgata, they took care of me, uh... I, I, it basically was like an eighty thousand dollar night. Mm. Like to talk about. And then on the right hand, you sit there and fucking bitch like crazy Ooh. about cutting these checks. You just sound like a hypocrite. That's all I'm saying. Ooh. You're in oh, you know. Where's sound, the hypocrisy? There's no There's hypocrisy in, in the spending hypocrisy. the money, uh, my money that is left over. It's only half of what I earn that's left over, and spending it like I fucking damn well please. You don't know what I do with the rest of my money either. You don't know what I'm doing with the half that I'm allowed to keep. Uh, I talk about going to the Borgata uh, here on the show. What do I do with the rest of it? Think uh, Tell Gary me. Glitter and Pete Townsend. Exactly. <laughs> I had a whole Gary fucking, Glitter. I had a whole gaggle of Mexicans in my yard yesterday. Oh, were they mowing the lawn, getting the leaves <laughs> out of the way. It was fantastic. I pay them very well. In cash, too, right? That's how I work. Well, you got to. You yeah, don't want to pay. No. Well, that's a good point, though. You're employing people. I'm employing the fucking, fucking uh, people. I got rising tide lifts all boats. Yeah. I got carpenters working downstairs in my house. I got painters. I employ people, motherfucker. I understand. Listen. No, I, you don't. Let me just one more point, and then I'll... And then Hold I'll, on. Carl wants in, on too. your head. Uh -huh. Oh, Carl's a faggot. Carl, no. my, maybe Carl agrees with you. I don't know. Carl, Carl works at Bill Cox's outfit. Go, go ahead, Carl. You're on with Jake. <laughs> Ain't got no gas in it. <laughs> if he fancies himself a faggot, I agree with him. Oh, this fancy. This motherfucker, I was in my early fucking 20s when Obama got elected the first time, and I guarantee you that just like every other young person my age I knew, this cocksucker voted for Obama and loved him first because why? It was a popular fucking thing to do. Yeah, right, that's goddamn right. fucking celebrity, and that's it. That's... You know why I'm a fucking Republican? Because my fucking dad worked his hands with a fucking bone every fucking day. Wouldn't fucking let him routine. touch me. Exactly. He, he, Scary. You know, he gave happy ending massages. <laughs> his dad did what? Worked his hands to the kid. bone. This guy, yeah. he's got no problem. Don't let her hand you the birthday cake. It's disgusting. He's got no bony hand. Nice. Get it, Jim? <laughs> But if Obama wanted half of his girlfriend's pussy or half of his boyfriend's cock, would he be happy with that? Ah! <laughs> He's laughing. At Go ahead, Jake. So, all right, let, let, me, let me just make my point, and I'll hang up. Oh boy! No, so, you, you didn't address you didn't address Carl though. Carl this made like, some good points. This in is there. like meet the I press now. It really is. Yeah, I thought Carl made some good points. Yeah. I, I agree. I'm going to refute to what he said because he's at, he's making accusations that aren't true. I'm in my upper twenties. I'm a small business owner. I'm what kind of business? What kind of business, Jake? Thimbles. It's, why it's why were you small? Are you? It's sales. I, okay. I employ. What about the right, so What about the faggot part? <laughs> well, that's all right. Everyone can tell that they're. Well, I'm fighting it. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you talking to me? <laughs> well, you said he had had a lot of things that weren't true. I figured you would start with the yeah. faggot thing. Well, you know, nobody's perfect. Um, <laughs> This is before you go. I, before I forget uh, this, uh, uh, this is the mentality, though. This no, is the, the mentality. Message, you're right. That, it's caught that on. Somebody should have a say over what the fuck I do with what's even left over now. Right. Like I don't have a say for half my money. Half the money I earn, I have no say in what happens to it. It goes away. And now some of these motherfuckers want want to have some kind of say in what's left over right. and how I no. should spend it and how I should feel about spending it. And and why shouldn't I just tell you to go fuck your mother when you, you come out with so, something as stupid as that? There's a tax Anthony, on that. Too. Please, let yeah. me finish. Please. I, I, it's, not, it's not the fact that I want to dictate how you spend your money. It's just hard for the average Joe to swallow your rants when you can live the life. But that's none of, the, but that's none of their business. No, I think it is easy. His money. You know, because percentage-wise, it's all relative. Take a, a person that makes 40000 a year, let them keep 20 of it, and then have the neighbor tell him how he should spend that 20000 He'd get punched in the face, is what would happen. It's not about trying to dictate how you spend it, but it's just hard to relate. That's my hey, point. Hey, you know what? You relating mm -hmm. to how I spend my money ain't my fucking problem either. 
But this has affected everyone, the middle class. We've it, said it, it, we've it, said it. It, it's a new mentality. What, it, but it when, when I was in my 20s and somebody was rich, I, I wanted to be like that. Right. I didn't fucking go, he's a prick. Make right. a he's a one percenter. Right. Yeah, yeah. That, that yeah. fucking mentality but, is caught on in this country. It's we, evil. You know? We've also made the point that to us it's just annoying. We do have enough money in the end, but this shit is also affecting the well, middle class for, big Nobody time. gave it to you, Ope. You're right. fucking right. How, long right. Right. Bust, how long you guys been getting up at 4.30 in the fucking morning? Where was this guy when I was fucking covered in insulation in an attic? In the end, it's like cutting holes in the ceiling. I wasn't born, you little fuck. It's kind of funny. It's kind of funny. We got you on that one. We got you on that one. We've said many times it's more annoying. Our girlfriend's perfect age for me to fuck them. Our lifestyles aren't going to change drastically. But I come from a huge middle class family. They're being affected by all this shit. The middle class is spoiled. I agree. <laughs> and, and Jake, you would be just as mad if you made a lot of exactly. money. Exactly. Everyone I love that the talks people that go, this. "Well, if I had the money." No, guys, our, you would do the exact sudden, same thing. He gets successful. He would try every fucking loophole in the tax system to keep as much money as he could. Right. He'd be angry at every check he has to write to government agencies. You, you're you're Not you're me. lying to yourself. I'd be having I'm bake cool. sales and give the proceeds to people of color. Exactly. <laughs> I'm a, I'm a small business. Owner. That sounded so sincere. Small business owner. What? What? What's your business? What field? Sees his sales. It's, in, it's industrial sales. Sells so weed. Oh, he sells pipes. Um, <laughs> exactly. So it's it's a small business. It's four people. I write those checks. It sucks. All my point simply was, it's just hard for the regular person like myself, who I do a fairly good living, to hear someone. Well, let me make you understand then. Auto. That's what you have to relate to. If if but you're, you're successful, you, you get to to spend that. the half of your money you're able to keep in a way that you want to spend it to uh, entertain yourself, to have fun, to be responsible, to keep a roof over your head, to keep your family safe and healthy, and and uh, uh, keep uh, loved ones um, in well, uh, in a uh, maybe a car, whatever. That's how I spend my fucking money. I I got Larry in Indiana. He wants in on this, Jake. He might agree with you. I don't know. Let's see what happens. Right. Larry. 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 Another faggot on the phone. Go ahead, Larry. <laughs> well, I'm not, I'm not Jake's all right. Oh, Jake's going to be a good phone screener. <laughs> it is nobody's business what Anthony Cumia, Nick DiPaolo, Sam Roberts, the man, or Greg Opie Hughes does with their money. It's nobody's damn business. Why is it their business what I do with my money, Larry? <laughs> yes. <laughs> And the government has no right you're dangerous, to have Jimmy. their hands in his pockets. Maybe because you had a problem with Larry yeah. a few weeks back. He's a religious But hold on, Larry, how come it's okay for them to know what I'm doing with my money? Yeah, what about Jimmy Norton? Little Jimmy Norton yeah, has well, some how money. Come? I have some money. He's got a few bucks in his back pocket. A couple of shekels. <laughs> right. I think Jimmy's made it public what he does his money. That's true. <laughs> right. He's got a urine stained oh, pillowcase. Yeah, and that's against what the Lord thinks. I'm paying for Larry's a, la <laughs> Larry's a God people. guy. Sexual reassignment surgery. <laughs> One lucky devil at a time. <laughs> Mortified and embarrassed that I forgot James Norton. Will you ever forgive me? Yes, I, I will, Larry. It's understandable. Larry! <laughs> but it really is nobody's business. The government is so involved in people's lives that you can't get free of government, and that's what our country was supposed to be. That's yeah. what it was founded on. We're past the point of any type of revolution that's what it was or on. anything. We're, I'm not going to get off my couch. No. Who is? Well, yeah. We're past the point of any kind of revolution that's already been proven to work. I mean, any kind of um, revolt of the people, that's gone. That doesn't happen. And if it did, it's such a small pocket of people that they're just put under as nuts and lunatics and right-wing fanatics. So you, we're in a position where they've actually succeeded in, in quelling any revolution that might start. It's mm -hmm. got to be a, a different type of revolution. But again, there's it's, too much it's good shit start on a TV. revolution. I get the MLB package, for Christ's sake. <laughs> yes, I mean, see? Fucking, exactly. Right. It's crazy. The season uh, just started. Uh, Jake, what do you got? <laughs> what do you got to say to Larry? Uh, we're gonna have to agree to disagree. I think. Oh, oh, come I'm on, Jake. Like that. Jake. I'm sorry. I fought, right. I fought a good fight. It really has gotten invasive, right, though. The government invasion is just, it's, it's really sickening. Of course it but, is. But, but both sides do it, and that's why it's like the Democrats do it with your fucking money, and the arch conservatives do it with religion. It's like, just stay out of my yeah. fucking business. Yeah, my yeah life. but one day, let me say I should. 
when is the have you gotten trouble from fucking religious not right ever? No, but it kind of. I mean, that was true years ago. They used to fucking, but they're not the ones getting people kicked off the air and shit. It's no, they, fucking. But, yeah, they they filtered after now. nah, but after Janet Jackson, that was a conservative administration. All, all like the the, the the fines going tenfold. All that was the conservative administration rolling downhill. Okay, but that doesn't affect liberals. your everyday life. You know what I mean? They're not telling you what kind of toilets to use, what kind of light bulbs to put. If you say something on the air that gets you fired now. It's guaranteed going to be a liberal. Oh, yeah, that fucking absolutely. Very true, but if you slip and say fuck, liberals are much more likely to overlook it and go, well, it was a fleeting That's expletive. true, but, but, but in this day, you're probably go not going to get in as big a trouble as you would have years ago you by saying won't. fuck. I don't know. I, I find yeah. them both to be repulsive with that. And I was always yeah, just saying, yeah. like, fuck the liberal. But then when after Janet Jackson, that was not a fucking... But I think was... it's a lot more... Look, if, if you say uh, the, the seven dirty words on the radio, uh, yeah, you'll get some arch conservative sure. saying, well, the children could hear that and you get mm. in trouble. But that at least is a black and white thing. You say it right. or you don't say it. Here's a list. Don't say this. This vague, obscure, yeah. ideological Ooh. bullshit that they could pull out of their ass and all of a sudden you're a racist, a homophobe, a fucking misogynistic. Mm. That shit can ruin your life. That fucks you. That yes. can ruin your life. Right. It has. Religious, it has. You say, ruined many you say lives. fuck on the air and get fired, you could get another job at a radio station. And CBS could find what, Jimmy? What, what, what was it? It was like... Oh, Five million dollars for a yeah. network that brings in a billion a week. <laughs> no, I, I, I mean, I've said also like you know that they want to dictate who can get married. Like they, they both have their fucking where they want it. They, everyone wants freedom, yeah, yeah. but everyone is comfortable removing other freedoms that they don't like. It's it's, yes. it's an irritating American thing that well, we do. We all do it. We're but in a the position. right, I just don't see it as as pervasive on the right. They used to have that juice, but the religion. I think it's I mean, an annoying, it's, but it, as far as being per pervasive, as pervasive as the liberal, yeah. uh, and what is, you can say in speech codes on campuses and all that. It, it's, that's all. That's all a liberal thing. Is the fucking language and the PC, yes. and you're a, you're a phobe or, or an. Ist. I think it's a lot more dangerous on that side. Um, the thing I don't like about the religious right is the fact that you know I, I think stem cells ought to be fucking harvested from live children at this <laughs> point. <laughs> I they're, give they're, a fuck. They're, they're fighting stem cells. They <laughs> you're also fight. Uh, <laughs> you're right. Obi, they also I, fight uh, again. Gay marriage <laughs> is a big thing. Talk. That's a big part yeah, of the yeah. population, and the fights. Yeah, but they have gay. They, I mean, the, the Catholic Church is talking about having gay priests and stuff. It's not like they're not <laughs> yeah, bending, yeah. They're and they're not, not and they're not supposed to bend. Right, you know, right. A religion is an institution. It's not supposed to change with the times. <laughs> it's a I don't agree. I'm not even religious. Just, you know, I love how I'm always labeled a conservative. I don't fucking been to church in seventh grade. Right. You know? I don't give a shit about that stuff. Yeah, but, yeah. Uh, you know, they are bending with the times, considering having women priests. And, and, they have you know. to. Yeah. It's one of those things where it's like, they're yeah. not supposed to. A few billion in lawsuits will do that to you. Yeah. yeah. yeah no kidding. <laughs> Good point, Jimmy. You know what? Fucking lawyers trump Christ. <laughs> wow. I Great just, point. Uh, <laughs> it's a good name for a band. It's just annoying. And it seems like in this day and age, in this country, uh, and I think a lot of people are under this misconception, although the misconception is kind of turning into reality. We are, it's like we're given our rights. It's like the, the government is allowing us to have our rights. And that isn't it. <laughs> These are rights that are like God given as inalienable. Just as inalienable rights that you're supposed to have for just being. You are, you exist. Here are your rights, and these people are supposed to protect them. Yeah, not protect those rights. You what now you walk around and you're walking on eggshells all the time because it's like, uh oh, they, they could take that away. Oh boy, they're, they're curtailing this right. They're not supposed to ever be able to do that. But but it's become such commonplace that dummies that aren't educated as to what the Constitution is actually believe they jump on that the, the rights they were given to you by, by the, the government, government. Yeah. to regulate as they please. Right. So there's never an argument because they're stupid. That's right. And, and it is an inalienable right, which was eventually granted to everybody. Yes. Why eventually. We, yeah, true. Times change. We got a good call uh, coming in from, I'll go unfortunately, that <laughs> old tall hat Budinsky. <laughs> Not even him. The broads. <laughs> They're Dan, the ones voting in Obama. Uh, Christ. Dan in North Jersey. Jersey. Housewives. He, he wants in badly on this one. Go ahead, Dan. Hi, Dan. <laughs> hey, what's up, guys? Dan, the man. Oh, Dan, thanks for the call. Go ahead, Dan. Okay, uh, I want to start off by saying, Anthony, I really uh, I agree with like 95% of your rant, and I really do appreciate you fighting the good fight for us. I want to say, though, I think what the other caller was trying is, well, not so much because he said you have small business, but when you're really struggling, and you see how much these sick heads take. Like, it really is it's disappointing to the, to the fact where you can't. Are I, I you calling from a prison day room? We can't but hear I know you. that you're echoing. Right. That. I understand that point, but what do you think? I was, I was born into the Getty family? I fucking worked 
half of my life I worked as a, at a real job where I carried Estelle heavy Getty. things. <laughs> yeah. Estelle Getty. No, 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 the photographer. The photog- yeah, yeah, that's, uh, that's, uh, that's the first one. I can remember. I should have said Rockefeller. I know. What an obscure. What do you think? I'm a, I'm a Hess. <laughs> Rudolph. <laughs> no, you're too conservative. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, I, I worked for a living. I understand we what it was poor like for to most of our, We were poor for most of our lives. I looked at, like Nick said, I looked at people that were well off and successful, yeah. and I didn't look you at them inspired. like, that motherfucker, oh, fuck him. I, I used to go out on, uh, I, I was working, I would go out on my mom and Sal's boat and see these giant fucking boats at Watch Hill and be like, I want to fill them up and send them back. (laughs) (laughs) It's a good start. (laughs) And, uh... But but I never looked and said, oh, that scumbag, that fucking guy with his money, why did he buy a boat so big? He could have... You know, it was something to aspire to. But I don't understand what these guys are listening to, because, of course, you're ranting uh, a lot about it. But then we you know, go to the phones, and, and we get so many people that are from the middle class that are going through the same shit. Same shit. But it really hurts their lifestyle. And there's a lot why, of why don't you hear that class, part of it, Dan? The middle class is paying for the subsidized health care. Right. So it's being taken out of their pocket. If you're a, a middle class guy and you uh, you don't have a, a, a kids, you, you, you're not going to have a pregnant wife, all of those premiums that you pay for that goes to subsidize uh, low-income people that, that will get pregnant, uh, have kids, need the uh, orthodontia, whatever. So it's taking from uh, the middle class who's already uh, struggling. Right. Joe wants. Why don't they see that? Joe uh, Joe's on the same um, the, the, on the same point. Well, you know, Joe, where it's tough to understand uh, where you're coming from. Go ahead, Joe. Yeah, well, guys. Um, basically, what I was going to say is people are angry at you for the wrong reason. I don't think they understand the nature of how he pays his taxes. So he gets, I assume, without prying that you guys get a check every two weeks or a direct deposit or whatever for a large amount of money because your employees at a company. Oh. However, and therefore oh. 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 Yeah. I don't get that though. I'm just using this to get to exposure like my oh. aunt would say. Money doesn't matter to us to the point I don't even know how much I make and where uh, it goes. I don't know. I just ask for cash. <laughs> I, no I just idea. say pay me in cash under the table. Exactly. We. I haven't seen a pay stub in years. I don't in know. Years. It goes to the accountant. Oh God, offshore we're hiding all sorts uh, of money all over the place. I'm going to be that guy that just is like, what? I have nothing left. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I have a PayPal account in Switzerland. <laughs> <laughs> but, okay, we get money. Right. Yeah. So Do we get paid weekly? I really don't know. It's bi-weekly. Is every, it every two weeks, yeah. Oh. Every two weeks. All right, we get paid every two weeks. By curious right. weekly. Okay. Yeah. However, I'm curious. <laughs> however, there are, plenty of, there are plenty of guys who are is directed, usually, huh. who will own a company... <laughs> And decide what their actual salary is that's yep. taxable at 40 or 50 percent. Right. So that's say like 250 grand a year. However, they have stock options and all kinds of other shit with, and which is where they make their millions that they can put in overseas accounts to get taxed at a much lower tax rate because it's, uh, Mm-hmm. Income tax, something like that. This so accountant talk where... is great, but, oh, did you blast, did he blast one? No, he thought my chair made a squeak. So the point is, that's where the anger should be, it should be for it. Because guys like me, who make all cash income and only fifty grand a year, still get taxed at forty or fifty percent. But I can't take advantage of tax loopholes because I don't have that fucking shit. I can't. I can't afford to have those types of investments. And it's just the nature. So of why life. blame the guy? You know, the, why blame I'm the guy that's anyone. taking advantage of all the loopholes that he's, are available? He's not blaming you, Anthony. Oh, I, I mean, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not him. Guy, I... I'm blaming the guy. I'm not blaming the guy. I'm blaming the system. And when a guy gets to that Man. point where he can take over. I, trust me, I don't have that mentality. The system man! No, I'm kidding. <laughs> don't worry about it. I understand your point, sir. Thank you. So, you're you're yeah. a saint. All right. No, I, do. I, I get what he's we, saying. We got a major problem here. Uh-oh. Yeah. What happened? What uh, happened? John in Indiana. Nick DePaul's going to be at Caroline's this weekend, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Why yeah. is that a problem? Is there someone John, else booked? John, oh, no. go, John go ahead. Hello. What's up? Shame on opiate. Opie, Anthony, and Jimmy for being successful. Yeah. Shame on you guys. Why? So you guys did, because you guys did the right thing, and shame on you, and, and it's retarded for these guys to attack it. What about the faggot thing? Yeah, what happened to that? 
Oh, that's all. That's made up. Just get on. <laughs> At least he's honest. Why? What had he said? He really doesn't <laughs> like us using Jim, that word. Jim on Opie and Anthony for being susceptible. But I never Jim got. On, I never got Jim into on, radio to be rich. By the way, it just happened. No, no I, absolutely. Gonna... Opie, I know that. You know, I'm a fellow Long Islander. I'm not going to say from where. You're not even from Indiana. <laughs> the con. <laughs> is yeah, that line about everything. Is yes. your name at least John? We got Anthony Fugazi online too. <laughs> you, you want me to tell you where? You're the, from the conk. He's got a summer home in Shirley. Oh, no, even worse. <laughs> uh, Wine Dance. I don't know, Copeg. 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 That's a, one of those weird towns on Long Island. Copeg, Long Island. I don't know much about Copeg. Is that a name of a clam? The Copeg Indians. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Everywhere on Long Island, it's Another like the hot white hot Indians. Oh, boy. Mm. Yeah, you know. Yeah. I saw a Native American yeah, standing on the median strip. The other you crying. You're looking at a rest stop <laughs> named after their grandfather. Shedding <laughs> 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 eagle. Yes. He was at a rest stop. His name was Drillum Holum. <laughs> what, what, John, if that's uh, your real know. name? Sorry. Sorry, sorry, Nate. Go ahead, Kevin. Sorry. Oh, Peg. <laughs> Go ahead, Bill. By real name? Yeah. Go ahead, Pete. Uh, now. Doesn't matter. Doesn't now. Matter. Jesus, it's like Liberace. Oh, now. 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 Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, thank you, John. But I think we're also yeah, fighting for... I, 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 I truly yeah, believe we're fighting for the middle class a little bit on this radio show exactly. as well. By the time they ponied up, <laughs> they've been cruising on the backs of this country for years. What are the parameters Molly of the Kagan. middle class? What, what, uh, what Do exactly nothing. Def- expect everything for free. What is like financially? No, yeah, financially. What are the parameters? It? I think it absolutely depends on where you live. If somebody living in Manhattan oh, and somebody to living Tulsa. in Idaho or something like yeah. that, yeah, it's going to be a, a big difference in where you are as far as middle class goes. That's why when they throw this whole Two hundred and fifty thousand dollars a year. If you make that, yeah, you're, that, that's, that's well, like making when you live in Manhattan. It's like making eleven five. Exactly. I make that at Caroline's. Oh, Jimmy, wow. you do. You're a little fucking businessman. I'm fucking shit anyway. And I make that at Caroline's. I say I want all the drinks. <laughs> you gotta like understand that we, that parts different parts we, of the country. We try to explain closer. that to people. They don't get it because we're, we're across the country. Two hundred fifty thousand a year in Manhattan is you're. It's literally you're, like half. You're. It's like making a. You're on the poor yeah. side. You're not owning. You're not no, owning you're renting. That's why I just bought a you're house. Not renting. In, I bought a house in Peekskill. Yeah. See? Nice. I think they said the average apartment now is uh, <laughs> around nine hundred thousand dollars for one. Yeah, but that's like uh, one you get room. like four hundred square feet. Yeah. That's yeah. what I'm saying. One room. The only good thing about paying a shitload of money where you live is no matter where I go in this country, no matter what I'm trying to buy, a hotel room I'm trying to get, I go, I get- Wow, that's cheap. It yes. doesn't matter where what? you go. Uh, hotels are amazing in other parts of the country. Because we're used to paying $500 I, a night in Manhattan. I, I go to uh, you know Rochester a few times a year and, and going to the Quick best bread. restaurants what? and stuff. Quick leave. I think but, they fucked up. But, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I go to the best restaurants up there with Brother Wee's and stuff, and when these bills come, I'm like, this is, this, this, what, are, are they are they paying for half of yeah, this? Yeah, what is this? Do they like you that much? It's like, no, man, that's all it is. Well, it's true. I, working in Buffalo, I was looking in, in the uh, classifieds. <laughs> You know, houses. Oh, yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> Fucking, I mean, it's like seven, 17 tops. bedrooms, <laughs> in, indoor, outdoor pool, right. main staff, right. 18 pies. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's the outdoor pool. You have two weeks a year in Buffalo. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah. an above ground indoor pool. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, what white trash. That'd be great. Yeah. An above <laughs> ground in, indoor what pool. What a nice dome, oh, dome over shit. it. A little deck around it. It's nice. It's fucking amazing. <laughs> Eight above ground pools. Oh, uh, yeah, not a big fan of the above no, ground pools. Bees pool. always nest under the ridges. You don't like that? <laughs> you know what? I never thought about that, but that's a good point. They yeah. do. You try to come with them with ridges anymore. No, huh? You They're want very a burger? dangerous with ridges. You grab the edge. Can I get a burger? And you wrap your hand around it or a wasp nest. You feel something. What's this papery feeling? Uh, yes. Jesus. Biting into my, my the fingers. Forty things objecting <laughs> repeatedly to my knuckles. <laughs> hmm. Is it a colon? <laughs> <laughs> you want more of these calls? There's a uh, lot of them. Today. Oh, they're uh, compelling. You know why? It's just Fuck terrific. Them. These guys are fantastic when they call in with their. Uh, let's go to Tyler. Political ideology. DR. Tyler. Hey, man, what's up? Welcome aboard, Ty. Si. Thanks for the contribution. <laughs> Long-time listener, man. Um, I just got to tell you guys, I'm actually jealous of you guys, man. You pursued what you love, and you're getting rewarded for it, and all these guys are assholes because they're jealous. Yeah. They get they it. They don't have the balls to admit it. But, mm. but they should be just as bothered. I, that's what I, I'm amazed by. Who should be bothered? 
people who people are people listening. It's the same shit's happening to them on a lower level. Yeah, everyone, yeah. everyone no, exactly. aspires to be wealthy. I don't understand why they're not bothered. Everyone in this country aspires to be wealthy. It, 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 it's, it's a, a bad why the word now, Anthony. fucking uh, the sales are so high when the numbers get up there. Mm. It, but but until that happens, there's just this look of disdain and and uh, on on people that are wealthy. And you want them to pay more, and they're not doing enough, and they're hiding their money, and they're doing it. And then the second something happens that they become successful, they're doing the same shit. Because it's like it's the way we look right. at people. It's like you know, when you look at welfare. It's like I oh, fuck them. There, there are a lot of annoying people on welfare, and then there uh-huh. are people that legitimately need it. And Absolutely, everybody. I haven't met any yet, but go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm going by what I've been told. <laughs> But it's like when you think of when you think of wealthy people, you know, it's like you typically don't think of the people who've worked really hard and who are fucking middle class or average people. You used to, not yeah. yes. anymore. Yeah, yeah. You, you think of the people though that have just have just fucked people under them, and the CEOs that have fucked people. It's like that's the instinct. It's just that's why people but lump in a guy like you. Limited those people are <laughs> as to the entire rich people. It's like calling out like when you call out everyone on welfare as being lazy, cheating, fucking disgusting people, right. and, 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 and then, then you say, generalize no, about the, CEOs. Yeah, but then yeah. now you generalize it with the wealthy and they're all bernie madoff every single well, one of them is bernie madoff yeah i'm saying that's what people just yeah. do they just right. like that. we absolutely should have been on welfare growing up for a few years there well you were at church. church we had some weird bo- yeah, you were at church <laughs> listen <laughs> how I, I you was, guys had bake sales and shit <laughs> yeah. to feed yourselves i just i just stopped myself with now i'll say it we had some weird pride though yeah. And I had to say it that way, a weird pride. Like, we had pride in the fact that, oh, no, we're not going to go, gonna go on welfare, and we'll figure this shit out. And unfortunately, like, all my fucking caddy money had to go to the household, and babysitting money, and we just fucking collected it all and, and made it work. But we definitely should have been on welfare. My yeah. parents just sold me into prostitution. That was the best way. Ah. Uh, <laughs> you were per- and you, you, you probably were close to welfare as oh, well for, so, for a time when you were growing up. My mom worked her ass off uh, three jobs for her dumb kids. But she could have dropped two of those... <laughs> She could drop Great two job. of those jobs, yeah. do one of them off the she books, and, and get the welfare. <laughs> <laughs> she uh, she was a um, a receptionist at a hair cutting place. That's a stressful one. Go ahead. Uh, yeah, and then she uh, <laughs> she worked at uh, <laughs> she worked at that disco Rolls. Chaz, that disco out on uh, in uh, by the Walt Whitman Mall that used to be out there right. uh, back in the seventies. What did she do at the disco? She was a, she was a cocktail waitress. Wow, she, she was pretty hot back in the day. She had to wear the and, short uh, skirts and stuff. Yeah, yeah. So she would do to get that. Those tips and. And then uh, also, uh, and then she a would return, she would return punts for the Jets on the week. Yeah, <laughs> well, <laughs> she was special teams uh, wedge breaker. She might have yeah, set of legs on her. She might have went out with an athlete or two, but we're not wow, allowed to bring I don't it up think oh, is that right? They Come on, sure, I don't know any of this. Yeah, they I just found the show by week money. Ago. They sure didn't pump any money into the You know the that Anthony you know, the other things they did, though? <laughs> <laughs> That's so mean. Yeah, no, I don't know. Do you know that Anthony's stepfather threatened our lives back at NEW because we talked about it? Eh, he doesn't listen anymore. He called us up and basically <laughs> threatened our lives. Did he really? Oh, man, that was a scary day. Didn't like I, br- I brought up her. Li- she had a little relationship with uh, Eddie Glenn. Ed Glenn, the uh, <laughs> Ed Glenn. Relie- reliever for the Mets. No, no Ed Gain. Yeah. Gain. 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 <laughs> Is that Louie in a suit? Oh, it's Jim Cramer. I'm sorry. <laughs> Are you waiting all day to do that one? That's, no, that one's too good. Up. That's too good. No. Uh, but yeah, th- but there was some kind of this, and we always had what we needed. It wasn't like you know we were fucking poor, man. With the, and and another thing I'll say that's kind of based a little on that. Yeah. No one in this country is starving. No, there I know. Is, no one is the, starving the in the United people States. People are the poorest people. Yeah. Yes. There are not starving children in they this country. Cell phones, Unless they have they're abused. Fucking... If they're abused kids, like that, like, that yeah. kid that was thrown in the closet and they, they uh, yeah. tie him up and don't give him food. That's a whole other thing. Yeah. There is not one it's child in the United States that is starving because there isn't enough food for anybody. It doesn't happen. It's an amazing accomplishment. I know. We take it for granted. And we take it for granted and, and people demand more it's... money be pumped into it's the fairest country on the face of the earth, and everyone's Case crying closed. that they're being shit on for uh, for uh, uh, not getting enough. Please, and when you blow all that money at the Brigada, <laughs> yes, which is rare, where does that money go? Is it helping the middle class, or is it helping like? I was helping degenerate gamblers, or is but it I do very uh, well. Over the there. people that own the casinos, <laughs> yeah. right? And uh, but they employ people. They employ right. a lot I of mean, people. Fuck. So it's it, all... it does trickle down. You know, trickle nice. down uh, works. Well, trickle up, it doesn't work. <laughs> you can't give, right. If you give somebody at the bottom money, it's never going to make its way back up to you. <laughs> Let me get Chuck on the line here. Chuck, Chuck. 
Love North Carolina. We should all move there. What? Do you, all right. Uh, what do you got, Chuck? <laughs> I'm just a dumbass old hillbilly from the mountains. Guys, thank you for the call. Here's what can get all the damn people in the country, a lot of them, to figure this shit out. Instead of having taxes took out of their checks, and all they see is what they clear in that yeah. bullshit. If everybody had to write a check at the end of the month to the government and to the state, that's true. And it showed them how much they were supposed yeah. to get real tall. Everybody yeah, you know, it's the slow point. boil. Yeah. This guy, as he's calling us from the roof of an outhouse, out <laughs> <laughs> you just cut off Negro toes and sold them. You can pay the... <laughs> but you know what? He makes a good point. If but you physically does. had to hand it out, right. you'd feel it. Every you know week, I mean? you get your check, and then you have to it, write a check. Yeah, fucking, United States Treasury, and write an amount in it, you would be it, fucking no, living. You would. And you know how a lot of people get pissed off around tax time, which is right around yeah. now? Yeah. We have to do that four times a year. Four we, times we a get year. P- we have to do it uh, quarterly. And, and the forms, that's why the forms are so complicated. No, so God, you're not that's really what... sure what's going in and how much is coming out and, and what that's why I was taken an during the year. Yeah, there you go. It's all guesswork. It's all because, again, like this guy said, if you had to write that every week just based on here's your pay, here's what you got to pay the government, there, there would have been be a revolution, revolution a while of ago. Course how do we would. get that going? Yeah, we need yeah. to. There's well, no politician that's going for that one. we got to turn off the phones and the, and the TV. we got to start there. No, exactly. <laughs> that's that's never how's happened. that going to happen? That's, That's never happened. happened. I wasn't listening. I was texting. What, <laughs> right, exactly. what happened? When Dancing with the Fruits is on. We, we, <laughs> I couldn't get off the couch last night. I was watching the Sox and the Bruins at the same time. Yeah, wow. see? How are the Bruins? I don't even know. I'm, I'm oh, out of hockey. Best team in hockey. Oh, yeah. really? I'm so out of hockey this year because my Islanders... They was... lost their first game on the road since January last night. R- really? <laughs> yeah. So wow. their first game. They've lost three times in 30 games. Really? Best record in hockey. Uh, I'm pushing for the Bruins. I'm all in. Oh, shit. That's the jinx. Why not? Right there. Jinx. What else do I got? I don't got... There's the the Islanders suck. Here's the who? The, the Islanders. I haven't yeah, lived exactly in Buffalo in a while, so I can't root for those what guys. What about the Sox? I know it's only a couple of games in, but uh, what, gonna be all right. are they looking good this year? Well, you know, fucking Lester pitch lights out opening night and loses. Mm-hmm. Baltimore's, you know, that's a good team. And last no, night, Big Poppy went Baltimore. deep, and Napoli went deep. Uh, Poppy. Enough for this oh, guy. I know. Enough for Poppy. <laughs> He runs Good like guy. Babe Ruth. He's yeah, got baby yeah. steps. <laughs> Giant fucking you know I mean? man. <laughs> he runs around the bases like he's got fucking retarded feet. <laughs> That's and why he's got to fucking hit home he runs. He does. He's, he's not going to so he could just beat out a single. jog around. Yeah. <laughs> he's one of those guys who can't keep his shirt tucked in <laughs> I know. one inning. In Napoli, uh, too. Napoli right. has his shirt unbuttoned down like his belly button. <laughs> right. He's but just a big, strong Italian guy. I love how baseball but, could just have literally slobs right. in it. And but, That's do, why it's a great sport. And they do well. You'll never see Jeter's shirt come on talked during yeah. the game ever. <laughs> no. These guys, man. Should be interesting this year. Yeah. yeah. Yankees. Why don't we so. take a break? We got Nick DiPaolo in studio. Absolutely. Uh, I don't know why. I mean, people should certainly go to Caroline's and see Nick. Hell yes. yes. Tickets got to be good, right? Ticket sales? I don't know. What's your definition of good? Oh, I don't know. I have no idea. I, I'm, what I'm saying is it they I should be good really good. I good Tampa. I should be able to do good in my mm-hmm. backyard. But that's not how it I, always works, right, no, Jimmy? No, absolutely. And we, uh, it's weird. And it's, we haven't seen you since the Patrice uh, benefit. Benefit. You killed That was yeah, fun. Yeah, that oh, was fun, man. That's the last time I killed him. Pretty much. <laughs> oh, Nick's, Nick's stuff I'm, is I'm trying solid. to do all new shit now. Well, how about him? He walks out and rips the tips off the yeah. car. I didn't see Jimmy. Makes it look too easy. I liked it, too, because it was, it was less somber right. this year, because it was like another year right. removed. and yeah. Not that no one's thinking any less of uh, Patrice or anything, but it was just kind of like nice to be in the back area where it wasn't just kind of oh yeah so uh, yeah we were laughing and having a good time i didn't even know mrs o'neill uh, do you know I, I met her once during tough crop for like literally three seconds yeah what? so in the green room i find out like a week later that was <laughs> that patrice's, was patrice's mom. mom i was like sitting there i didn't say Looks hi just to her like i'm in the corner fucking <laughs> it's like two patrice's his I know, sister not, and mother yeah, I, yeah. i've never seen more people you're not like observing patrice. nick oh is that right <laughs> oh my god yeah, i do look like you're not observing yeah. I was like, who's this fucking bride get out I, of I, here i'm not a comedian <laughs> google earth i knew patrice's mother i'm not a comedian sorry miss you're gonna have to leave and then i get a nice watch in the mail you know doing the what did you do with the watch? I saw, sold it on Craigslist. <laughs> I, uh, I hope he took his back. That's what Patrice would have done if I gave I him. I got a couple nice shirts out of it. <laughs> He's such a <laughs> fucking I'm prick. I'm serious. <laughs> he, he went to the store that came I'm from. I'm a watch guy. I I'm hear a shirt Patrice guy. on the radio. <laughs> and, and you forget guy. he's gone. I yeah, hear him yeah. get excited. Yep. You know, Jimmy was close. Yeah, I yeah. fucking, and then you forget he's. I know. I was last night listening Terrible. to, uh, last right before bed. I shouldn't I was made myself really miserable listening to. Mr. When P? We, uh, no, no, no. When we talked about uh, Face Off. 
All oh, right. God, was That's that a great. great day. When we would talk about movies one. with Patrice and just it would get inane, we'd just get so deep into <laughs> the non-plot of a movie and the bad acting and bad special effects. He was impossible so fun. to convince of it, but I convinced him the face off stunk. And it was one, <laughs> yeah. It's one of my favorite moments in comedy <laughs> yes. is convincing an idiot that a shitty movie was shitty. Jimmy, you always face <laughs> off again with Fresh Memory. With Nick Cage and John Travolta. John Travolta. They, they switched their faces. Oh, I thought it was a fucking honky movie. Oh, uh, yeah. see? No, oh, they wow, switch faces. No. Yeah. Nick Cage. Fantastic. I haven't liked him since leaving Las Vegas. The last thing. Oof. Huh? Moonstruck. Huh? <laughs> huh? Jimmy was on a plane with him, and he did a great story. Want he didn't want to give Jimmy the time of day. He did it? He was sitting no. right next to him. L.A. prick. Yeah, nothing out of him. He was trying to have some conversation with him during the flight. Like mild and he chatter. Tried, how many times did he try? That Two bit is three. hilarious. And Two every time, time he asked times. Jimmy, a qu- uh, Jimmy asked him a question, he turned and go like, huh? <laughs> yeah, I caught him off guard. I said something. Yeah. How embarrassing. I, said, I just want to ask you a question. Go ahead. That's <laughs> <laughs> so bad. Man. Jimmy had things on his laptop, hoping Nick might know. Yeah, we could talk comedy or right. something. <laughs> You've never seen anybody want less of another person. <laughs> Jimmy rules. It was really unpleasant. He tried, and then he, the guy wouldn't take a picture with him. No, at the, end of the flight. He, he didn't want to, but he did sign a nice autograph on the on a fucking menu, which was yeah. nice. Yeah, his career must be in a dump because I sat next to him on a flight like a month ago in 33C. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't a dick. He just wasn't interested. Like, but he wasn't being a, an asshole. He like I hate when people talk to me for no reason. Like, you know, when you're on a plane. No, I don't. Go ahead. Someone <laughs> recognizes you, and you're like, "Oh, grandma, I have to talk to her and her big dumb tits." Oh, oh yeah. yeah, she's just gonna try to fuck me after. Oh, it's terrible. <laughs> I hate when you get on the plane and you look in the cockpit and you know the, <laughs> the cockpit. 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 <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's called Jimmy's ass. Forget it. Okay. Bail on that one. Uh, Nick DePaulo and Caroline's the Muslim captain looking at a picture of his ex-wife crying while eating a pork chop. <laughs> you know you're in trouble. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Caroline's Nick DePaulo. You're going to continue with us. Oh, and uh, Travis just told me that he found a, a quick five-minute clip uh, uh, with Patrice talking about face-off with us. Oh, cool. oh I don't want to get all sad. Yeah, no, right. we're going to go. We're going to walk around. Did like a few years ago? Play that yeah. clip. <laughs> that was great. We're going to walk around and take peas and stuff. Yeah, the audience yeah. Yeah. You're not gonna hear it. You get bummed out. China people. Fat I don't know. in China with John Wu in China doing what they do without the American rating system ripping the the, the bag off of both of them. Because John, there's no way John Wu is going to do a great John Wu film. In hard this hard target with um, uh, what's his name? Uh, uh, John Claude Van Damme. That was a good movie. I didn't see that. That was a John Wu film. I John saw Face Off. Face Off was a great movie. I'll throw my coffee in your face. You didn't like Face Off? How can you? It was pretty good. Oh, that stung with the awful touch that Travolta did. <laughs> <laughs> the creepiest move ever. Yeah. <laughs> Whenever he would leave his wife, he would take his fingers and brush them over the middle of her face. And that was the move he would give her. Like, that was supposed to be the affectionate couples thing they did. <laughs> <laughs> and then when Nicolas Cage was in the body, I'm not Caster Troy. <laughs> Who, by the way, this could be very dangerous for me to say. Who, by the way, could be in the, in the top all time worst actor? Nicolas Cage. Yes. He is a bum. Oh, he's a bum. I he was good in Valley Girl with that performance. Uh, he, or, or Arizona, raising Arizona. Why, why is he that just in tears? Why is he? Because he's royalty. He's like you f know, royalty. He takes me out of every movie he's in. He is oh, just every effing movie. He's terrible. Ghost Rider was just shocking. That fingers oh, across the minute, face. Oh, wait a you making me turn on face off? <laughs> but it was just that was the it big was a move. Good movie though. It was a good movie. <laughs> they had to say how could they connect? How could they make Travolta um, have such a bond with his wife that she would have the moment where she knew it was him with a new face and that irritating thing he did every t- picture any girlfriend you're dating picture if your move was to go goodbye and then take your fingers and brush them over the center of her face she would hate that <laughs> movie stunk bunch of doves <laughs> it was horrendous I gotta go see the movie now. I gotta see it again it was terrible I know we gotta take a break there uh, lack of hair but give us a minute here I'll see I think that movie did stink I'm sorry Norton <laughs> holy boy it's dumb it's dumb oh his little oh. his little brush across the face Castle Troy it was Castle Troy oh it was horrendous That's awful Name. Oh, they're, oh. they're going around the column looking at each other. Oh, boo. <laughs> boo. That was terrible. 
Jesus is killing me. <laughs> You're killing me. <laughs> Those awful dogs. Oh, just so John Wooish. Oh, I forgot. I forgot, I forgot about I take it back. It stunk. That movie stunk. I forgot about the dogs. <laughs> With that dumb. Oh. Oh, that was horrendous. Oh, John oh. Travolta and his tour divorce when he played Castro Troy. Yeah. The mean Castro Troy and a nice him. And they just reverse it. Oh. And they both thought they was amazing. And those <laughs> those dumb method actors, they probably sat in there, like, sucking each other's vibe up oh, as they did. Just terrible. Nicholas Cage probably put on Travolta's awful wig. <laughs> <laughs> Tried giving a Hummer to a guy in a 727. <laughs> <laughs> oh, face off, stuck! Oh my god! Face off, stuck! Oh, that's stupid! That's Detroit and dumb hand! Oh. That's how I found out. Did you ever see face off? Of course! Oh my god! Oh, see, hey, Jesus. see if you can get a clip of that for when we come back. Yeah. That stupid, oh. annoying finger brush that you're also, smelling fingers in the state of the art prison oh. with the magnetic boots. Oh, <laughs> terrible. We got to step aside for a second. Master and Danny, what else you got? You got terrible oh. Nicholas uh, Cage acting. Yeah, there's oh. a there's a clip from The Wicker Man that uh, wow made me laugh really hard the first wow. time I heard it. All right, so f Nicholas Cage and his stupid royalty. Wow. Well, how about in, in Tin Man or whatever? What was it called where he played where he got he plays the guy who he, he added. Tourette's to try to give his character depth and it had no bearing on the film whatsoever. <laughs> Matchbook man or matchstick man. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. He tries to add Tourette's to people like, wow, this guy really goes another level. <laughs> he should be shot. Wow, he's got some range. Oh, you changed my mind. Uh -huh. uh, face Off, it stinks. You see a lot of sorry. dumb movies. Patrice. I'm so sorry, dude. I like Face Off. It's annoying. This made it stink. It just stinks now. It took him two minutes. Oh, my God. We'll continue. Also, speaking of bad actors, uh, Joaquin Phoenix. A little story about what he's doing now. Well, hopefully have his lip operated on it. <laughs> Stacy Geek face. We don't need you. Yeah. <laughs> he's remaking Kill what was that? Twinkle Twinkle Killer Kane. <laughs> Tell Mike Hammerface to shut up and, and, and retire, you bum. <laughs> Hanging with uh, Nick DiPaolo today. Playing Caroline's Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I didn't oh, yeah. I had to adjust uh, my volume there. Why? Because I couldn't listen to Patrice. It bothers me. Oh. So I turned all the knobs down because I was just sitting black? here during the break. Because he's black, <laughs> right? <laughs> then also I'm like, what's wrong with my headphones? I couldn't hear myself. Yeah. Uh, Nick DePaul is at Caroline's Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. 212. 212. Hold, I used to know this number. Oh, I'll be 212-757-4100. Uh, all right. Go. Because I sing uh, them to myself. 212-757-4100 for ticks for Nick DePaul. 212-757-4100. 4100. <laughs> The shit that goes on back there in that hallway. I went down to get some pretzels and uh, a little apple juice. Yeah. From the kitchen? And, uh, yeah. You, you discovered the kitchen, finally. I finally discovered the kitchen <laughs> down there. Did you get a bologna sandwich, too? Because you have a tummy. Pretzels <laughs> and an apple juice. <laughs> that's a nice asshole. asshole. It really is. That's a great decitant <laughs> for your hiney. <laughs> That's a, that's a great combo, though. The apple Sugar juice and, and salt, the, nice. Oh, it yeah, goes together. Nice. nice. It's, good. it's I nice. Like it. And uh, I, I walk down there, and of course, Denny Falcone is uh, down there. That yeah, and what, what diet's he on? So, like, <laughs> fucking Haitian fucking... He is a slight man. Jeez, he wasn't always like that. No? No. You've, hmm. you've known him? Yeah. How do you know him? I, we dated in high school. <laughs> <laughs> that's cute. Uh, no, but yeah. Yeah, he is a when slight I, man. And uh, so I just go, I'm like, hey, Denny, how you doing? And um, he starts talking. <laughs> yeah, oh, I don't know why you did that. Oh, why and, did you do that? Uh, I like Denny, though. He's I, a good it doesn't man. bother me at all. He's a good guy. It doesn't bother me that he enjoys talking a lot. A lot. But, you, but you, it, you it put does. him on, don't you? Sometimes? Oh, all the time, yeah. We love oh, you want him on now? Or you no, 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 no. You did that last time I was here. Are you sure? Yeah. 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 Nobody yeah. even showed up at Caroline's. I didn't even know I was here. We're here to see Dennis. <laughs> you sure you don't want to just... Uh, no? no? Okay, all right. Just make but, it sure. But then Roland pops his head out of the office. Now, who's that? Wait, can you, tell us, <laughs> can you tell us the small talk, first of all, before you move on to the Roland part? Dennis, what are you, what are you up to? Hey, just, you know, doing the log and uh, 
um, you know, trying to stay out of trouble. Right. That's what he calls ass fucking. <laughs> the log, doing, doing the log. I thought it was, thought it was a dance. <laughs> doing the log. Yeah, you have to, you just roll. <laughs> and then he's like, you know, try, maybe trying to get a picture with a celebrity right. or two, you know, because you get a picture of a celebrity. Oh my gosh, and then, shut up. and then you could use that picture as you're, you know, booking some uh, show gigs, some DJ gigs. It's like, hey, look, he's, no, he knows this guy. And that's when, uh, that's you, when Roland poked his head out of the office and just went, Dennis, shut up, shut up. <laughs> Roland did? Yeah, yeah, Roland just said something to shut up, and then I go, and he goes, see, I, I just saved you, I just saved you. And then Roland turns around and does this thing, you know how dogs, like, like push dirt with their back yeah, legs? Yeah. He was doing that at Dennis. Oh, that's the cat thing and he does. And Sam is fucking laughing. It's a circus back it's, there. It's one flew over the cuckoo's nest it down is, the hall. Yes. You should have seen it. <laughs> it's crazy. He was, doing, with his, he was doing that's that his cat Adam. move. He hit He's at shit. you, and then he, he he tries to kick his duty in your face. You should have seen Roland and Sal oh. after Dennis talked to Nick. Yeah. And Nick went, because Dennis said something like, uh, he did some joke about uh, John Gotti. I don't remember what the right. joke was. But uh, Nick, as soon as he's in the studio, Sal and Roland just start screaming, Hey, Dennis, shut the fuck <laughs> up! That's what they Stop, do! You piece of shit, stop talking! I thought I was mean. Dude, I know, dude. that's just mean. But, yeah, like... Sounds like crass. <laughs> yes, crass. Well, we think yeah, he's fine. on the spectrum, so it doesn't even bother him. The spectrum. <laughs> on the what? What's we the think he might be spectrum. on the spectrum. <laughs> if you're on the, that's like an autistic <laughs> word. But they say the he's spectrum on the now. Spectrum. Oh, is that what it is? It's a certain yeah. might be the on the low spectrum. end, the high oh, end, somewhere in the middle. He's, we he's, think he's just... He's going to ask face burgers. Yes, that's what he's got. We don't like Dr. Nick. His tiny head. Asshole burgers. He's got a very tiny head. His tiny head is offensive to look at. And he walks like a marionette. Yeah. look at it. Well, his legs were broken when he was young. Right? Yeah. He was yeah. hit by a car. He got hit by a car, and both of his fucking little spindly legs were broken. <laughs> both of his marionette legs were that's fucking broken. That's what reminded me. I, I wanted pretzel rods. Here. I saw his legs remind me of pretzel rods. <laughs> <laughs> his little <laughs> brittle, wrong with you? His brittle little legs. Exactly. See, then, then you fucking get, get the pretzel rods, and you break them, and you giggle uncontrollably. <laughs> <laughs> his dumb schoolboy hat flying off. Uh, his Angus Young hat fucking yeah, getting taken off by a car. Uh, oh, I think you should bring him in here so he can defend himself. Nickers. You sure, Nick? No, well, you know. he's yeah. putting it on me. Danny, come on down here for a second. You oh. gotta defend oh. yourself. I'm thinking. Right. Okay, uh, Nick DePaulo's got a podcast too. Let's make yes. sure that people know about it, Nick. He's yeah, fine. it's getting funny actually. How do uh, how do people get your podcast? You know, they they have to get on their roof, wrap themselves in tinfoil, and <laughs> face due north, and fucking <laughs> only if it's raining. I don't know how the fuck. No, iTunes. <laughs> oh, iTunes. Riot yeah. Riotcast dot com. Yeah. Nick Dip dot com. Are you on the right cast Stitcher, network? Stitcher, whatever that is. Well, whatever that All kinds is. of shit. Are you it's part all of, over the place. Are you part of uh, Bob Kelly's empire there? Uh, yeah, actually. Where I wouldn't Kelly? call it that, but... The Bob Kelly empire is yeah. podcast empire. Yeah, yeah. no, riotcast.com. Yeah. 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 Okay, so go yeah. to riotcast.com. You'll see Nick's uh, Nick podcast. Dip. Real funny, Nick man. Nickdip.com. And, and Caroline's yeah. this weekend. And also, uh, I, I was writing some notes. I apologize, but uh, you're working on a bit about crystal meth. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it made us yeah, laugh. I don't, I don't have anything yet. I'm not going to pull it out. You're no. obsessed with crystal meth all of a sudden. I am, because I, I watched Breaking Bad, and I yeah. loved it. And then I watched a documentary on it. Right. You know. Yeah. And they're, they're telling you how easy it is to make. It's, it's a good drug. fascinating. If, if you want teeth of a 40-year-old squirrel, <laughs> you do that. It's like... <laughs> uh, it kills me. But yeah, is, is that shit that good? I don't know anyone that's actually it be good? done it. How can it be good? It, but it, you, you have, know uh, what it's going to do to your face and your teeth. It, it, it has fucking brake fluid in it. Oh, and, uh, nice. Literally drain cleaner. People, drain cleaner. People are shooting this shit into their fucking... Fuck. I love this country. Amazing. Yeah, yeah. A carburetor fucking uh, cleaner and, and, and auto... Like quick start stuff that you spray into the carburetor, right? Yeah. yeah. God, damn. Nice. I have a great great joke on meth. Oh. I'm like <laughs> meth... I'm, I'm like meth... Boy, I guess uh, bathtubs aren't just for bathing anymore. <laughs> and I like look, <laughs> I make the look at the you face. Look like what? <laughs> like I'm an EV at the Improv in '86. <laughs> like, you say apparently. You say apparently when you have a smart joke. Come apparently, apparently. bathtubs aren't for bathing. Apparently, people. Thank mm. you for my apple. Why are you shaking? Mm. Why does he get it wrapped up in a towel like that? I like that. You don't want him like to bring it in his, his fucking sweaty you know, hand. I don't even wash him. My wife, you know, then oh. I think of the homeless oh, people at man. the supermarket. Yes. Picking up your fucking guava. I, I don't wash vegetables or fruit. I don't believe You know that. what? I haven't well, died yet. 
I saw. <laughs> 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 There's some other people. There are people. I I, uh, I read a whole thing on um, well, well, it's that website that um, I go to every so often. Mm. It's a bad. It's a bad word. It's the N word, and then it's yes. mania. dot com. And if you go there, that's Nazi the name mania. of the website. Yes, yes, it is hilarious. I gotta say, because I go to the other side too. I go to some of these black militant websites, and they are brutal too. So it's you know, but are you they hilarious the, as well? Uh, oh yes, they are. Okay. They're funny, very funny. So the end mania is it a white? Oh yeah. People? Oh boy, is it ever? Yeah, I don't like that type of stuff. And they aren't missing words over there, but uh, ooh, they have videos and news and and there's this one <laughs> news. It was just called Wash Your Fruit at the supermarket. And I oh, looked at, geez. and it was why. You would watch your fruit, and of course, it was all the old stereotypes. And mm. <laughs> I can't. that's the beauty uh, of the internet, isn't it? So some of my audio from this very program is turned up on that site too. <laughs> is it? I'm very proud. Well, you're yeah, proud. and you they were like, they were like, let's never get this bad. Let's <laughs> <laughs> tame it down, Anthony. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The videos are great, though. You put them on. It's like that's where I found that video. A lot of I sports the, highlights. A lot of sports highlights. I saw the video. The the uh, black guys uh, barbecuing in the in the grocery shopping cart. See that one? Oh no! They put the wood. Uh, you know, underneath the cart where you put like the bag, a big bag of dog that's food. That's where they shop. put the wood. They put the wood they put there. The food and they the, put the food in the grill. That's brilliant. And they're cooking. It's it's brilliant. That's friggin' brilliant. And I then if the brilliant. cops show up, you can they just wheel your barbecue away. Right. No muss, no fuss. And well, they what are the cops going to do, though? It's just yeah, a you know, barbecue. They're just hassling people because they're black, Opie. Oh. That's what they do. I see. That's what the cops do. It's not like they're cooking a baby in it. No. <laughs> That's unbelievable. It's actually... <laughs> it was. It was good. I would like to see that on a cooking show. Why That's... isn't that on the Food that Network? Is... <laughs> I'd tune into every episode. Shopping cart can gourmet. We, can we play that video again for Nick? Oh. Grilling with Jerome this... Flay. <laughs> This has watchability. It really does. I, I love the audio. This guy is, he's talking it up. I love this guy. I'd watch this. Uh, All right, I got to record this shit, nigga. That's what you call, that's what you call, motherfucking ghetto families to the fullest, nigga. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me get exclusive on this meat, guys. You know what I mean? I'm going to get exclusive on this meat. You feel me? Check the grill out, nigga. Look. Look. Look, nigga. Hold on. Hold on, nigga. That's a mobile grill, nigga. Grill on wheels. Motherfucker grill on wheels. I love that. how we do things, man. Where I'm from, nigga, you got to eat. You feel me? You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Season water. Season water. They're right. All we miss is some onions on this bitch. You feel me? Onions on this bitch. Feel me? Dig it. All we missing is the real grill. You know what I'm saying? What's he pouring on? Nigga from Kroger, from nigga from Publix brought us a Kroger goddamn buggy. Kroger goddamn buggy. Are they, are they on the White House lawn? <laughs> Shout out to the show, bro. Shout out to the show. Shout out to the show. What's happening? You know, my baby Dre. All right, all right. We do this shit. Get old fabulous. Yeah, get old fabulous. That's actually. I'm gonna go home and try that. It's brilliant. It really is. I gotta get a shopping cart. I'll probably you get a like plastic one. Shit, <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't recommend the plastic ones. <laughs> No, oh, that is friggin'. <laughs> it, it would melt the plastic one. Oh, <laughs> literal gym. <laughs> you talking about the hood? Nigga, this is some hood shit. Nigga, some hood shit. Who wouldn't want to hang out with these guys? Right? Oh, I it love looks it. fun, the man. Best, Nick he's, raises his head. Uh, he's, uh, he's marinating it with his That's, cup of gin and juice. Right. It's just fantastic. Get a fat. What are the odds they paid for that shopping cart? Ah, uh, yeah, that could be. That video should be doing way better. That's fucking almost. It's, it's one it's of the brilliant. main. Cars. It is. Who oh, it looks is. Okay. at a shopping cart and sees a barbecue yeah. grill? It's I didn't fucking be. I mean, I just thought oh, it's a shopping cart. Got to lay the tin foil down though. No, you yeah. got it. Nah, I don't know what they spray the shopping carts with. The fire burns. To keep it, it off. from rusting. You know, after an hour after that barbecue, that shopping cart was up on wheels, missing, <laughs> missing two wheels. <laughs> missing the t- <laughs> <laughs> They're missing the wheels on it. That was unbelievable. It's brilliant. I uh, love it. Uh, hold on. Uh, I was Jeff. going to buy a Weber. What an idiot <laughs> yeah, I am. Yeah, fuck that. Jeff and Charlotte has more info on that video. Go ahead, oh. Jeff. 
Yeah, it's just, Opie just kind of mentioned it, but it's the same thing that he said is that those things are coated with like super rust protectant and stuff like that. Oh. So when they're burning it, it's smoking off into your food, and so you get to consume all that stuff there. I thought well, they were just made of stainless steel or something. Yeah. No. Yeah. I look at them, they're super chromed and stuff. You know? Oh, chrome. Yeah, that's just some chromium. Right. Oh, well, what do you got? That's not good for you, right? You know, yeah. Lying in the blood. Well, I, probably, don't you know. I don't think they're going to have to worry about what happens later in life as far as their health goes. I was going to say. Yeah. So, so they die at, what, 48 instead of 49? <laughs> I, think, I think they have to worry more about lead poisoning at that age than any other metal problems. Uh, speaking of which, let's go to Chicago. Tiny! <laughs> What's up, guys? I bet you you're not tiny at all. A big guy? Well, I'm... Yeah, big guy. Six one, two hundred eighty pounds. I love ah, when they call joke. those guys tiny. Joke never gets old. It's amazing. No, it's, well, I tweet you guys a couple of times. I go by Shy Town. I call Jimmy uh, Hetero. <laughs> <laughs> so. I, I feel like this is a very hostile work environment. <laughs> But I can't function, and I think that the fact that if somebody makes a gender mistake with a prostitute, you know, if it happens under 300 times, you can't make any claims. And so far, All right. I'm still barely under the bar. <laughs> not you, should, you should go to HR, Jimmy. No. Yes, yeah. exactly. What do you got, Tiny? Oh, you guys are talking about grooming in the cart. I was telling the guys on the phone, and I'm just a white guy from Chicago, but uh, I got invited to a project party from some friends that... And what was called the Rockwell Gardens that are turned down now, but they uh they had a big old party up in the up in the in the project and they busted holes into the walls that go into other apartments and they used to invite me for a project and I'm like, Man, where the hell is this thing? And I see the smoke and they were barbecuing in the tub. They had all the charcoal up there and a grill over that. In a bath in the tub. tub. Holy you put the, shit. Again, put the not coals a bad in idea. There. Get a grill over Smart. the top. Yeah, they busted into one of the empty apartments, put a hole in there, and then they had the fans blowing out the smoke out the top. <laughs> oh, see, they were safe. <laughs> Holy put shit. that energy into getting a job. That is so ghetto. Only, I love it. There's only two of us white guys in that place. I got to tell you what, it was a pretty crazy fucking Yeah. Thing. It was probably fun, right? Of course it was. Oh, it was awesome. It was yeah. great. Yeah, you should have videoed it for guys. some educational well, back channel. Then, back then, we didn't have the videos, but you know, I got two, two white guys with a bunch of gangbangers. Yeah, up, right. <laughs> Why were you up? Why were you hanging yeah, out with gangbangers in a vacant why building? Are you, are you yeah, exactly. <laughs> you, Edward, James, Di- Edward James almost. You were educating them. A mind is a, a terrible thing to waste, young brother. Hey, terrible you joke as well. <laughs> wow, was that a long bomb? I tripped on his name Holy and then had nothing shit. funny to follow it up. <laughs> no, I really completed the fucking trifecta of horrible guys who shouldn't do comedy. <laughs> hey, when you're in the Chirac, you got to explore, you know? Yeah. You're crazy. So, Although you're a big guy, you can take not. care of yourself to a point. Mm. Yeah. All right, yeah. Tiny. Bye, Tiny. Good right, talking to you. George right Miller on. came back to life. <laughs> I'm watching TV making comments. <laughs> yeah. People at home are going, what the fuck what is, is, is he talking about? We do that all the time. Like, oh, yeah, that one. Mm. Oh, my God. <laughs> tired. Nothing else in the news. No. <laughs> not other really. Than, other than missing Malaysians or shooting at the fucking Fort Hood. Oh, we did. Oh, yeah. yeah. I know. I was in the car on the way down what about here, the, uh, my balls up. What about the Malaysian thing? Any thoughts on that, Dump? Yeah, good luck finding I fucking... You're not going to find it. I dropped my watch in my cousin's pool last summer. We couldn't find it. <laughs> good luck finding a fucking 11-year-old Malaysian kid. <laughs> Jesus Christ. In the ocean. <laughs> so from 5,000 feet, they're looking down with binoculars. Uh, yeah, What's that? Yeah. It's a, oh, it's a fucking turtle. Yeah. In the most obscure part of the ocean, oh. by the way. That's why I know it was, Just, uh, it was, was a pre-plan. Right. The guy programmed it and said, you know what? I'm going to fuck and depressurize the cabin. Yeah. We're going to choke ourselves out, and then this thing's going to make a hard left and land where nobody can find it. No one can find it in the middle. It's like the one place in the world that is that, the worst place that, for a plane to go that's down. That's not an accident. Brilliant. The guy thought it all beautiful. No shipping lanes down there. No nothing. nothing. Even the fish are like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. where are we? There's a comedy club there, though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Well, when, when you depressurize like that, if, if he did that, like knowing that he would be knocked out, yes. do you think that they all, they all die because it got so cold, like in Payne Stewart, there was frost on the inside of the plane, or do you mm. think that they? Uh, I don't it, think that's what kills you. It's the lack of oxygen. Yeah. No, no, but you think right? they die before they they hit? The oh water? fuck yeah! Oh I yeah, think so. yeah, they'd be dead. Yeah. They didn't find anything yeah. on his flight simulator either. The FBI has. Uh, yeah. Can I be the one up. alive guy on that plane? Oh man. Yeah. What if they say? What if there's somebody out there still treading water? Oh jeez. What are they drinking Something out there? Water. Yeah. <laughs> It's uh, it's odd though because you, there's uh, there's the co-pilot. Now, if you start depressurizing the cabin, 
he's going. Isn't he going to notice something's amiss? Well, obviously, you t- you get him in on it and go, look, I'm going to kill all of us, and you convince oh, him. Oh, okay. You talk him into no, it. No, you hit him with a fucking fire salesman. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I, I'm go- hey, Harry, I'm going to get a coffee. What's that? <laughs> That's your first coffee. I'm That's going to get a coffee. That's your first move right there. there exactly. you go. Okay. Get the hey, why you? P- here's the last words. Why are you picking up the fire escape? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what we found on the black box. Yeah, yeah, yeah the, that was the pinging yeah. we heard. Uh, hey, be careful with that. Okay. Thing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that makes sense. Don't you, thud of metal. You knock them out. Got to worry about this now when I, when I fucking fly. Yeah, suicidal pilots. You always huh? assume the pilots, you know, got it together. The fuck. And. uh... Apparently not. They call it sui- Isn't that murder suicide? You that take it to a- What a selfish fuck. That's mass murder. Do it yourself. Yeah. Steal the exactly. plane at night, you jerk off. Does that go in the books as like, it should. like the mass in murderer? My book as one a- of the biggest mass murderers? And- yeah. I would God, imagine right. it has to. I put him right up there. Yeah. And yeah, you find a lot of fucking and we, people. And we've learned that there's a lot of garbage in the ocean. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, everything they said, oh, this is the greatest uh, lead we've had so far. It's just garbage. Oh, it's a fishing net and a fucking well, yeah. Barbie doll. and The tsunami in Japan, that shit's yeah. still floating yeah. out yeah. there. Yeah, probably. Yeah. <laughs> they're finding shit from the Titanic. and <laughs> Shipping containers for some... For some reason, they're falling off of boats. I took a dump off a boat in high school. I'm sure that floated. The- Everything goes <laughs> yeah. in the Indian Ocean. It's- <laughs> that's, the, that's the place to go. I dropped my watch at my fucking cousin's pool. Yeah. How hilarious. We still is can't that? find God it. It's- damn, it's fucking- <laughs> Good luck finding the fucking <laughs> perfect sense. Let's yeah. come up with another phrase out of the needle in a haystack. I'm trying to- <laughs> exactly. <Jesus Christ. laughs> How about a cock in a cock pile? There you go. <laughs> No one, no one has ever, <laughs> no one has ever lost a needle in a haystack. Never. So why would we even oh, use no. that? Who you wouldn't even look for it. Plus, yeah, a new needle. All you'd have to do is fucking get a metal detector. You'd find it in three seconds. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> or burn Kurt Cobain on a farm. Right. Right. Or, or just, <laughs> just burn the haystack until. Yeah, there, yeah, there you go. go. What's left? The needle. You don't Plus, need the haystack. What do you need that shit for? The needle's on top. I mean, how long after you yeah. drop a needle in a haystack do you realize, oh, nerds, I needed that? <laughs> they right. did that on the Mythbusters one one time though. Yeah. Right. They find a needle in a haystack. How did they do it? There were a couple of different methods. One was, uh, I think one was burning it. Right. And another one was uh, magnets. magnets. Really strong magnets. Yeah. Or, I bet you fucking have a horse do it and then you search his shit. <laughs> You can see, oh, a horse eating man. Uh, yeah, and then when the horse goes, ah, <laughs> it takes <laughs> over. You know, you found it. Oh, floating the hay in the water. There was another one. But the needle, oh, look, we're learning. But the needle would never be far into the haystack. Do they? Well, you got to shake it. Put around. heroin put in the that, needle and bring out a bunch of drug addicts. You'll find it in three we'll seconds. It. Yeah, exactly. Think. What? You got to think. <laughs> Hold on. CNN has gone with every theory. I didn't hear this one. Suzanne in New Hampshire. Go ahead. Go ahead, Suz. Hi, guys. Good morning. You Good morning. Right. How are you? <laughs> uh, good. I'm good. I was in the car the other day, and CNN uh, was floating all kinds of theories, and I heard the tail end of a expert saying that possibly they could have given the co-pilot some kind of laxative, or they waited until he had to go to the bathroom. And then in the pilot, uh, maybe the you know if he leaves the cockpit. Sure, no, but it, no one's noticing these shenanigans. Mm-hmm. First one of pilot all. goes into the bathroom, the other pilot so gets now, up to lock it in. What are we looking in? for? A shit-filled toilet <laughs> right. in the Indian Ocean? They no. lock the they lock the flight deck. Yeah, what happens is though, I mean, and maybe the and flight attendant comes on. There's always someone that comes on. Uh, to fill that space, just in case the guy has a stroke or a heart attack, the door can be open. Mm-hmm. But who knows? Maybe it's easier to incapacitate a flight attendant than it is. Oh, well, they did say mm. yeah, suck a punch. Give me a cup of coffee. I mean, but it was flo- when they floated well, that box. Well, they also said, said that it could have been a black hole, so I don't really yeah, watch no, CNN my this wife into this. I do believe also that the pilot, whoever's left in the on the flight deck when the other one goes to the bathroom, mm. has to put on oxygen. Why is it a duck deck? Does he really? I know. Oh, I didn't know that. They have to put on oxygen while... Just in case. Yeah. So that would be a perfect thing to do. You fucking yeah, wait until he put- takes a piss... You put on oxygen. Now he's not suspect that you're putting oxygen on, and then you just depressurize the wow. cabin. He's cool for a little while to do whatever he's got to do while everyone else is. We passed just out. figured it out. No more talking about this. That's not what I. When I the theory I heard was that he told <laughs> the go. co-pilot. Yeah. He said, "Hey, do me a favor. Go back in the coach and get me some minestrone soup." <laughs> 
Because that's what it was. They didn't have any Why? in business. And, and, and the co-pilot was walking, and he's in business, and he looks back, and like, remember De Niro and Goodfellas? He goes, no, 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 <laughs> That's a great tip. I didn't know that. That would make sense It's funny, now. Miss. I was hoping that you'd get hung up on, but you made a yes. great call. Thank you. That's, uh, oh, quit watching CNN, will you? Yeah. yeah. You know, Enough I of that. Watching, I was flipping through the All right. Oh, why? You wanted to watch faux news? For oh, Christ's sake, what are you doing? <laughs> You're panicking. You should be live free, or die. live free or die. Oh yeah, real fucking red state, New Hampshire. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Live free or die. Blue is my balls. Because it's fucking... a state of dead people now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, gotta go to work. Yeah, All right, take care of yourself. Right. Yeah, thank you for the call. All right. Can't get there from here. Yeah. <laughs> That was always a Are scary license plate as a kid. Live free, Live free or, or die. die. Uh, why? Yeah. What happened? They don't really follow Crazy through, do they? With their no, politics they, they up don't. There, do they? they don't. Spilling over from Massachusetts. Oh, uh, that, yeah, another one. That bastion of fucking left And wing. what are we talking about? We live in a fucking horrible, oh, it's fucking awful, blue. why go out and vote state. Yeah. It's fucking just the worst. Cuomo now. Got his fucking mitts in there. I know. Seven, seven fucking rounds in my gun. And then uh, the people get arrested <laughs> for having ten rounds in the gun. Legal, legitimate gun owners that have never done anything are being arrested for having three bullets too many in their magazine. Who comes their up gun. with these arbitrary well, How does fucking... that make anyone any safer? It... To, to take somebody that didn't hear of the law, didn't misinterpret, left in the morning, just loaded up his magazine and slapped in the gun without thinking about how many rounds he's allowed to carry. And, and do you think that's translating to people that are using illegal guns for crimes? Absolutely. And they're going, up, oh, up, up, up. <laughs> Yo, man, get those rounds out of that gun. Yeah. Why do they have to have that? Hey, what kind of accent well, was because, that? Because that is uh, the majority of gun those crimes. Those weren't deer hunters. I'll tell you that, my yeah, it's kind of silly. It is silly. They're not going to follow the same. That's why laws. I just I just wound up loading seven rounds in my magazine and carrying two extra mags with seven rounds apiece in it. So now Ooh, I carry a full load spanking. of bullets instead yeah. of just. I would have just had ten bullets. That's good. Thank you. Now I carry twenty one bullets with me. He has a fucking. He has those hat that you put two beer cups in it, but they're filled with fucking magazines. <laughs> yes. Just bullets, two bullets, cups bullets, of bullets, 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 bullets. Just two beer bullets. cans with bullets. <laughs> bullets yeah, what are you them. doing? My head is heavy with bullets. <laughs> I love bullets. My, yeah, my chin is on my fucking chest. I've got bullets in my hat. Uh, creep. Uh, <laughs> Phil in Philly. Phil? The law that does nothing. Phil? Guys. Hey, Phil. Hi, Hi Phil. That's hey. a Jersey in Jersey calling us. That's next. Uh, sure I just visited niggermania.com. Oh, that website yeah. is old and awful, just like Anthony. It is terrible. Oh. And there's, like, no content on there. What? Uh, it's, it's, it's like a 2003 layout. No, you go to the message board. Oh, no, it's geez, all... Yeah. Don't go to the... You just go to the message board. It's all about the message board. I felt like Jesse Jackson targeted a drone at me. Oh, no, know, I'm so. sorry. I should have been a little more uh, specific. Why you, you don't like there? the website, Phil? I'm not going. <laughs> no. It's like, <laughs> it's like being caught with child porn on your computer. It really is what, these days. Yeah, right. I think it's terrible. I think it, I, I, it's, of course, it's legal, and it should be legal. Yeah, yeah. But I find most people that will go on there and post all this stuff, are most of them are just these fucking cowards that will never say stuff. You can't say that Neither, stuff. Well, yeah, but you and I can't either. Like, people always go, yeah, but you guys have jobs. I can't come on and do this without any, you know what I mean? And it's so well, it's like, if somebody wants to have a forum to be racist or to voice their opinion in, in the ho most horrible language possible, why should they have their jobs threatened? And, uh. Then we should, then we should live in a place where we fight for each other's fucking. Oh, that would be abil nice. But sweet. abilities <laughs> to not get fired for stuff but like that. But it's not gonna happen. Yeah, but those guys wouldn't fight for anybody's ability either. So those guys are part of it. So until then, a certain aspect of your freedom of speech should be cut off because uh, there's this lingering threat over your head that you're going to lose your no, life. I'm not talking. I, I'm not saying it should be illegal for them to do it. I just find them to but be it's cowards. Basically, it's not illegal, but that's a technicality at this point that it's not illegal. There are. Uh, penalties no, 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 for no. voicing an opinion. And I'm not talking about inciting a riot or inciting violence against somebody. I'm talking about just putting your statements, your opinions out there in hard, harsh language. That has now a penalty that is equivalent, in some cases, worse than a jail sentence. Because you're losing everything you own. No, 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 I, I didn't, what I'm saying is, 
it's not. I, it shouldn't be illegal to use fake names. I'm, I'm saying. I, I'm not saying that should. You shouldn't be allowed to do uh-huh. that. I just think they're cowards. Oh, and there's, okay. there's you could always call them cowards, there has but... always been that penalty here with what you said. It's changed. You could say. Well, you could say a nigger uh You know, you could say in the fifties. You can't say now. It's just kind of uh, flipped. There's always been shit but you couldn't say got, here. It's got it, always. It, it, there used to be a lot more impact in what you had to say to for it to affect your life than there is now. Now it's just if you insult someone, if your opinion differs from somebody's, and they call you a racist, you could lose your job. In the old days, you used to have to incite a riot. You used to have to do something, tell someone to kill somebody. It wasn't just a basic opinion. In the old days, if you insult Insulted the church at a certain level. There was a tremendous penalty for that in the old days. In certain part, and I mean, back who was the, losing their jobs over insulting the church? It, I don't think anybody. I think that's if people. We did watch that, people by the week losing their jobs for insensitive remarks on groups. That isn't freedom of speech. It's not. It's disgusting. Yeah. But again, if we're not going to be consistent with it, we have to fucking be consistent. But that, that people should be to go away if we. Penal, if we don't let people be anonymous and post those things, that speech will just go away. People should be defending. I have no problem with them saying what they want to say as themselves. I don't think they should be fired. I think they should be allowed to but say they it. will be. I, but again, you think that's or... the, that's the cr- a fucking environment we've created where we just and I don't mean you and I, but I mean that we don't no, stick I up did. for each other. People don't stick up for each other's right to say You're shit You're right. Like that. They don't. So. In the meantime, but until, I still don't go on forums until this wonderful it. utopia happens no. where we're able to do this with impunity, um, we have to not use our real names so we can get our, our points of view out there in the public eye without being penalized. I don't fucking use, I've never used a fake name for anything. I know. And I can't go on and say that stuff. I, and you know what I mean? I thought I, I want to say either. what they say on nigger, but, I, but there are plenty of things I've wanted to say that were brutal. Right, right. Where I'm like, Ugh, I have to think. And I'm not I, saying yeah. that's the way I, it yeah. is, but I fucking operate as myself all the time, and people know how I feel I about it. I do it, too. I, I get into a lot of debates on Twitter and stuff, and I use, it's my real name. You know where yeah, I am. Yeah, you know yeah. that. And I speak very openly yes. about things. I'm not, I, I, I try not to be offensive in the the uh, common sense of the word. Right, People right. are offended by what I'm saying, but I I try to think out what I'm saying so it's not like, right. oh, you're in trouble. That's like one of the biggest fears is that I'm going to post something yes. that is taken either out of context or blown out of proportion. I'm just having a discussion. That comes in with what we were talking about with that guy that called up the other day. And I said, uh, he goes, we need to have an open discussion about race. And I'm like, oh, that's great. Until the white guy opens his mouth with an open discussion. And then he loses his job. He's a racist. Yeah, everything well, else. Everyone there. wants an open well, discussion yeah. until you have it. Yeah. All that's true. And I, I agree with you completely. Yeah. I'm only talking about the attitude those guys take on those sites. Like, they're these fucking, these defenders. And they're these fucking little cunts who won't use their real names. I think, like, Don't come off like that. Just say, I hate niggers. Say it in that fucking tone. But, I, but don't act like you're this fucking balls to the wall night when you're hiding behind fucking nhater 22 dash L. But I think... Oh my it, God, you got me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 21, so I recognize <laughs> But, but I you know think what I mean? That's what bothers the, me. The penalty is so severe that why would anyone in their right mind put their real name on something, even if you do believe it? The same reason I don't go out and say some of the most... And I'm again, it's not that I want to say that particular... But this fucking horrendous shit I've wanted to say sure. and not been able to, and it is frustrating. But I have to fucking deal with that, and I deal with that under my real name. It's just a, a I, 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 I kind of like that that ideologies get out there, even if it isn't uh, with anonymous posts. I, I kind of yeah. like that it's still getting out there. They should be allowed to be anonymous. I don't think because it's a fuck you to the people that are trying to curtail everyone's freedom of speech by being the morality police out there. It's disgusting. No, it's, I'm going to pretend to be one way when I'm really another way. Because you know they don't have that moral courage in their daily lives. Mm-hmm. That's the same guy that walks in. He doesn't shun the black guys in his life. Oh, hi, how are you? Yeah, it, it's, a, it's completely, here's my fake personality. Your personality is real. You're, you, everyone knows, this is what Anthony Cumia said, <laughs> this is how Anthony Cumia feels, like it or don't like it. You're not hiding. There's not one black guest that would come in here and not be able to research every single right, thing right, everything you've I ever said. said. Yeah, yeah. So this, to me, there's a reality in what you're saying, at least you mm. are being you. And we got a guy that has been affected by exactly what you're talking about. Uh, oh, Phil in you. Brooklyn, retired NYPD. What's up, Phil? Hey, how you doing, guys? Hi, Phil. Um, I, I work with a guy, and um, he was working the West Indy Day Parade 
And in the parade, there's a guy who he's covered in oil, and he just sprinkles people with oil. I don't know if it's an Asian thing or whatever. And he took a picture of this guy. It's a gay and he put thing. it on his Facebook, and he just wrote filth, like as in dirty. Uh-huh. And the next day, the Daily News called him up. Oh, shit. He was in the paper the next day, and he was called down to internal affairs. Just for saying that word. And that's the climate we have to fucking end. Like, that to me is sickening. But again, everyone has saying to... what word? Filth. filth. And referring to somebody in the community as filth. Just posting a picture of a guy and then putting filth under it. And well, he yeah, got... we, no, it's just... got to fight back. You, you have, have to, to fight whining back. about it. You have to fight back. Yeah. It wasn't just like guy. He, my was, house. he was spraying, what did you say, oil on everybody? Oil. It's a ritual they do. Like, they spray oil on people when they see them. And of course, when they see the cops at the parade... They take a handful of oil and hit it on them so they get filthy. That's what they uh, do. Oh, okay. So it's kind of a fuck you. To... Yeah, uh, we should have the third world rituals. From... <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. But yeah, we don't I'm defend that stuff either. Fifth Avenue. Fifth Avenue. Fifth Avenue. <laughs> we don't defend Wait. that stuff either. We got to defend. No. We have to defend people for being able to give real opinions without getting in trouble either. But everyone just kind of sits and watches uh, each other get strung up publicly. Honestly, okay. you, you do have to defend things that you find reprehensible. Yes. Uh, well, you don't have to like it. You don't have to participate in it. But you do have to allow. Allow it to exist. Oh well, yes, and uh, but that's something a lot of people don't even realize. They think that Free they have this right about- to not hear something, but that is it. You don't have a right to not. Be offended. They think be they offended. have a right to right, not right. be offended. Yeah, that's not a right Freedom at all. Freedom of speech is, is yeah. it's created to defend unpopular speech. Not yes. fucking, I mean, right. that's why it's there. Yeah, no, everybody, it's, like, it's fucking happy-go-lucky speech. It's like, no oh, one cares. Exactly. Yeah. It's like I say, my ears are not garbage cans. Oh, <laughs> what your butt is. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. It's so like Jimmy's ass. I know. It's a cum holder. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, <laughs> just piling on myself. Of course. Dan in North Dakota. Dan. Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome hey. aboard, Dan. Yeah. Well, I appreciate it. Uh, you know, the thing about that is, is, you know, everyone's just a little scared to even talk about, you know, anything. Yeah. You know, like at my job, you go, oh, hey, uh, they have this whole memo saying, if you say this word and this person finds it offensive, you could be fired. <laughs> So it's not just about the nigger issue. It's about everything. No, no, I, do, I know what you're saying. Their feelings are hurt. You're right. And that's a sick fucking thing it, that we have allowed to happen by not defending each other. It grew out of the racial exactly. thing, though. It did grow it out of the racial thing. It started with a b- racial thing. Yeah. Now it's spread it right. to fucking women and gays other and Other groups fucking. saw the success of how you could just call someone a racist and, and we, knock them right down and said, well, now you're a homophobic. And we homophobe said this was going to happen. It, it, if you remember. Yes. Political correctness is created to stifle white heterosexual males, basically. Yeah. Well, Show go. me a black guy getting in trouble for saying something no, about you, a you white guy or a gay woman or a fucking female comedian getting Get right. in trouble for shitting on them. Ain't gonna happen. No, it all depends on the group. Like, you know who black people get in trouble by? Asian groups. Because Asian groups don't have a guilt with black people. They have, if, they, if, they, if, like, if black people say, th- like, uh, radio host station about Asians, they fucking go right after them as much as well, they go after white they're, guys. They're, they're, you know, fucking stealing their bodega shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but you know what started political no, correctness? Am I, hold on, I'm, I'm playing this. Right. That was a joke. <laughs> Andrew Dice Clay. I can't think of anything right before that, but he, with, with the women's groups and the gay jokes, yeah. and then they saw, people saw results when they were yes. after him, because they yanked yeah. his movie deal. He's such a rut lightning rod. But I'm trying to think of what before Dice, because Dice, I think, was re- responsible for a huge part of political correctness without meaning to, was they went after him, they got his movie yanked out. What before that was the real lightning rod for it? Well, no, I, I don't know, mm. but 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 if you watch mm. movies from the eighties now, you see the you can see it taking shape. The political correctness, like Philadelphia uh-huh. that movie, all the old white guys were in the sauna making gay jokes and shit. All the it, bad old white. Every guys, movie right. from the eighties, you can see it with oh, a okay. fucking where the guys start to get stupid and the wife is strong. Yeah, just, just yeah, watch yeah. all the movies. From, you can see it taking hold. Now yeah. it's at a level I never thought it would get to. But uh, as far as a single, you, you know, other than a single person before Dice. Yeah. That, uh, maybe he was just, I hate to see Strobel Kills back, but maybe that was, the, it started like maybe he said in the 80s, and then that, when that happened, it was people was like, pow, and they got results. Well, that was, was a big one. I and then Kennison, Kennison. Kennison was in that Which, same uh, world. Yeah. Did yeah. Rick, but like Rickles were doing it for years. Never right, grandfathered right. in, I think. Yeah. And, and yeah. he was doing it without yeah. cursing necessarily. There That's was true. Something, and he something had everybody. Different. And what's fun about that? Exactly. What is that, better? <laughs> oh. Fucking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm black. You're black. I'm white. And the brakes. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh was he funny. Jack, what do uh, you got for the show, good. buddy? 
Hey man, uh, Jimmy, uh, he's a, he's like the little Jewish guy in school that used to walk up to the black guys and go, "Hey, you know him over there? He he just called you a nigger." You know, he's one of those pussies that yeah. walks around. That that's right. thing. Oh, I'm boy. I'm a liberal. I'm a nerd. I can't get any chicks. I'm an yeah. ugly little douchebag. So oh. liberal, liberal uh, self righteous guy. That's that's me. I'm Mister Self Righteous. Yeah, very liberal. That's him. Very yeah. liberal. It's easy to be liberal because yeah. you just take a stand. But it's hard to be, I guess, a real dyed-in-the-wool conservative American like you. Right, Jack? Absolutely. Absolutely. Absolutely, like, uh, Jack. You know, we join the military. We do the right <laughs> I thing. Know we taxes, do. We I know you do. We do all that stuff. Yeah. Faggots like you yeah. run around Ooh. talking about sucking dick and taking it in the ass. Yeah, so what? What, what? what do you you're, fucking you're don't done, like when man, I tell cute stories? <laughs> Hold on, joke blocker. <laughs> Let my <laughs> friends laugh. <laughs> Timing of diarrhea in the ninth you're inning. Right. Hold on, real red, white, and blue American BLEW. Dime a dozen for nothing. You're just a little fool. That's all you are. I am, but you know what, stupid? You listen to me. So sit your car, bitch boy, and keep your many fucking freaks, ears tuned. How many freaks fucked you in the ass there, dickhead? Act, uh, uh, can I answer your question? Can I hold on? Hold on, because fake angry white guy. All they're fucking you. Is that why you hate Christians? Let me. Oh, I don't hate Christians. Oh, you're Mr. Liberal. Oh, you're, yeah. Listen, man, you're done. You know, you're done. But you're still gonna listen, aren't you? You're so easy. You're, you're still you're, gonna you're, listen. A million of you out there. Good. Uh, yeah, a million tranny lovers. We should rise up <laughs> and help the transsexuals get what they deserve. Yeah. Which is big hugs. <laughs> I'm Mr. Self-Righteous. Ooh, Jimmy, everybody's a racist, and that's my thing. Everyone's uh, a racist? Uh, what? Uh, you're done, man. Nobody cares. But you do. You called up, and you needed to talk to me. Nobody cares. You care. You care. You care. You care. You care. You care. Jack, you care. I can feel it. I can hear it in your voice. I upset you, and that's what I wanted to do. Oh, Have a nice day. Well, no, not really. Did he upset but that, you? By the way, so. for, for a real military guy, you think like a woman. That was a military uh, guy? Oh, yeah. We, we joined the military. But it's like, then you call up and go, I just wanted to affect. That's a fucking chick thing to do. Hey, yeah. By the way, at, at Joe underscore trucker. At Joe underscore trucker. Thank you. Oh, All right. We'll get a lot of uh, lovely. Let's say hi to Cameron. Joe the trucker. In Toronto. Cameron. Hey, how's it going, guys? Hi, Cameron. Hey. This is Socialist. Hey, uh, I just wanted to. <laughs> yeah, we are Socialist fucks up here. I hate it. Yeah. All right. All right. I guess you agree on that. Nice talking to you. Bye-bye. Yeah, I just sure. wanted to know why Jimmy cares so much if people uh, use an anonymous name online. He's free to use an anonymous name online, too. I'm sure Anthony doesn't use his r real name on Nigger Mania. No, I, I, I actually, I'm not signed up to any okay. websites. Um, I just visit as a guest on many uh, websites. You could ch you can even look at who I follow on Twitter. You'll see I, I actually follow a lot of um, militant black sites, uh, uh, horrible liberal um, sites. So I, I, I do Cam run the gamut to get my uh, info. Cameron, you don't see where that can be cowardly at times, though? Yeah, no, it certainly can be cowardly at times, but I think also uh, what's cowardly is people going after it sometimes, overreacting. But I'm not saying going after it, Cameron. I'm not saying that it should be not allowed what they're doing. I'm just saying I personally find them to be cowards and fake like uh, rebels and tough guy, it, and it annoys me. I don't me. think they're all cowards, though. But I'm answering, uh, I'm answering you why I don't like it. That they wouldn't say in public, but a lot of these people are saying things that they would say in public, but they're too afraid of <laughs> Irrational backlash. But I'm. Uh, yeah, that's definitely part of it. I'm, I'm explaining to you why I hate it. I hate it because to me Sorry. it's symbolic of what we have become, which is just these fucking little pussies. We don't, and, and the same mentality that hides their name on Nigger Mania or any other fucking radical site like that. That mentality I hate just as much as the people who don't defend uh, uh, mm -hmm. Stephen Colbert or, or don't defend mm -hmm. people who say racist stuff. Like I, it, We just all want to fucking sit back and protect our own little stuff, and we don't give a shit what the next person well, has to do Jimmy, with. When, 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 that, Jimmy, oh, hold on, sir. Hold on, sir. Could you hold, hold on, on for second. one second, sir? I defended Colbert. So, hold, hold on, you, hold on, hold you, on, hold on. Do you hold have on. an earpiece on your phone, sir? I am just... Hold on for a second. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on for a second. Jimmy, what do you think about the people that black themselves out when they're doing an interview because they feel they're in danger of uh, do you feel they're pussies? No, or, not at all. Now, isn't that very similar? They're, they're afraid of repercussions um, no, but based I think, on who they are and what they're going to say. That's true, but I think we understand the, the, the difference between the mafia killing you and I want to say nigger and I don't know how to say black on a website. There's a, to me, there's a different thing that we kind of 
understand what the difference is. Like, mm. I'm not saying that that to me, I would be a fake if I said that. Yeah, show your face. I wouldn't show my face if the cartel was after me. <laughs> You know what I mean? No, I think that's a completely different thing. I know, but in, relatively speaking, I think uh, some of the repercussions that you can get just by speaking openly about race and religion or, or, or uh, homophobia, it, relatively speaking, it could ruin your life. You're not going to get your head cut off, I understand that, but it, losing your job, maybe but, your family, maybe that seems to be But there's also a lot too. of guys that are anonymous that they know damn well they're not going to lose their jobs for what they're saying, and they still choose to be cowards. Yes, and that, I, I well, kind of understand. True. I understand Jimmy's point. That's true. And, I mean, def- and, and, and then fuck the rest of us then. Because when Phil Robertson said what he said about gay people, I didn't like it or agree with it. I still defended him. And he never should have suffered a penalty for that. Right. And enough people went on Facebook and said, fuck you, A&E. Right. And what happened? They put him back on. Right. So if people would just stop sitting on your fucking fat asses and just speak up and go on Facebook or wherever we can speak up, they would stop but, penalizing everybody. You know, but we don't. We just sit there and watch it happen because we secretly like it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. The latest one is uh, Colbert. How many people stood up for Colbert? When all, all a lot of people did. Right, right. So it's proven that we could push back and get yes, some things absolutely. done. He's Nick. almost untouchable. But yeah. Well, as far as Colbert goes, I was happy when, when he got in trouble because... He makes a living mocking guys like O'Reilly, and uh-huh. he feeds that politically correct crowd. He fucking he feeds that. He crowd. almost seems and untouchable. They, and it, sometimes at that it point. Bite, it came back to bite him in the ass. On yeah. a level, you see what I'm saying? I, I, I like Kobe. I met him at, uh, tough, He's proud. smart and funny. Yeah. There's no doubt about it, really. But but I'm just saying he feeds that politically correct machine by and, mocking and felt untouchable because of it. And they turned around and, and bit, him bit him in the ass. The monster ass that too. he helped create yeah, with with true. John Stewart. And yeah. So I, that that was my take on it. It's like good, he mm-hmm. get fucking bit in the ass. But I don't want him off the fucking ear. No, of course not. Just no. the mentality that people do is what's disturbing. The yeah. fact that that's Suey Park and they went after him. And I watched her interview on the Huffington Post. All uh, huffing to post live, and they said that the guy really killed her. But the guy wasn't that bad to her at all. But you could see she was like, "Well, you know, white men feel entitled to interrupt me." And it's, it's like, oh, oh you but, 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 the, but the thing is, people only like she white probably would men. be one of the first ones to go, "Don't generalize," or generalizing is wrong. And then, but that type of generalization you can is generalize okay. about white men. Exactly, oh, boy, can you ever? And this myth that it's only okay to punch up when you're doing jokes is people's excuse no. uh, on why what they're saying is okay, but why what you're Nick is saying. Right, right. Else, well, you're punching that. No, whichever right. way you want to punch it. Is it Why it's punch down when you could kick? Well, I'm part, <laughs> but you know what I'm saying. Yeah. The joke is, it, it, it's, yeah, it's, yeah. it's all, mm. all bets are I love this notion. I'm part of the, I'm the oppressor. Who Meanwhile, the I'm oppressor? making twenty five dollars at the comedy cellar. <laughs> yeah, I'm stepping on your throat. <laughs> Shut up, <laughs> you <Yeah>. fucking <laughs> what? I, I, I did an Asian uh, on my <laughs> podcast. Yeah. My last podcast was telling a story about me and my wife in a restaurant, and this Asian woman was drunk and, like, belligerent and fighting with people at her table oh, and, in English. And it was bugging me. It was ruining my dinner. So I just started going, dang, 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 and I started doing it louder, you know, trying to get their attention. Right. And other tables were looking at me, and my wife's getting all embarrassed. <laughs> <laughs> but it was a story I told my podcast. But then I, like, I look at my Twitter yesterday, and, and some girl said, thank you for doing the Asian accent. And I didn't know if she was saying that sarcastically, yeah, what? if that's somebody who's going to get me in trouble. Boy. Right. See, just that you have to think that now. I is, don't think is, it. I, I, it's the weirdest. No, that you got to think like, is this going to get me in trouble? Like, I don't want to fucking think I, that. I didn't. I don't That's think what I'm doing. It, but I'm at with the tweet. From, yeah, I, oh, the tweet I, I didn't understand. Like, oh, thank you right. for doing an Asian accent. You didn't even think about it. And yeah. I was trying to look at her. I was trying to look at her. Uh, what do you call it? The profile, profile pic to pic. see what she was. Yeah, let me see what you are. <laughs> I mean, I'm fucking. This is what I'm. I should be writing jokes. I'm going on. Oh, uh, that's what you're dealing with. Cameron, Jack you, Sue's niece is going to fucking get me fired. You're good, Cameron. Oh, yeah, I just have one more point. Uh, I agree with Jimmy that it's gross how the majority of Americans... uh, About what? I'm sorry, sir. Sorry, what? I I didn't hear what you said. You agree with me on what? I agree with you that it's gross how most Americans are going after guys like Colbert and Paula Dean and stuff, but it's not every single American, so why should the individual be punished for the majority? Because the I, I, I don't want to see the individual punished. I just found that as a country... And that's why I use an anonymous name then. We, I feel that we have always been selective in what we fight for. And it's like if we're not consistent, then we're fucking frauds. And it drives me nuts hmm. that people, because I know as a person, I defend people I don't agree with. I defend people who say things that I think are repulsive. I never once wanted someone to get in trouble for what they said. Right. And I speak out against it. So if I'm doing it and someone else isn't doing it rationally and, and mm-hmm. respect, then fuck that other person. It separates us from the rest of the world. Yeah. 
the freedom of speech thing <laughs> yeah, is yeah. what we should really... And the people that come here from other third world shitholes and from yeah. oppressive dictators yep. should fucking celebrate it, not join right. the other side. Join the, uh, yeah, join the people that are... You should be fucking... <laughs> Glad we have this. Because you're allowed right. here to do that. So yes. in turn, you could sit there and badmouth whoever the fuck you want to without uh, worrying about being penalized for words it. Words hurt. No, uh, they don't. They don't fucking hurt. hurt. No. Another Thank side you. of this. We got. Thank you. We got to move on. Another. Thanks, s- all right. Another side of this. We got a business owner that has a, a point to make. Uh, Big Bad John. Ooh. What's up, Big hey John? Good morning. Hey, the uh, you know you got a great point on the free speech thing, but it goes both ways. In terms of expression, so if you're a business owner, particularly, you know, like you, the individual, own the business, you have a right to be able to select what kind of individuals you want working for you and representing you and your brand and your own name. Sure. And so you, you got to be able to, <clears throat> to say, hey, look, if this person is acting in a way outside of the workplace that could come back and impact my business, yep. you know, then you have to be able to have that same, be able to say, you know what, that that's not okay. So I'm going to make a choice. I mean, there, it's not so black and white as to say. Well, hey, I think we that's where the anonymity the comes in to it. Also, you could have somebody that does a fantastic job. He's one of your top employees that goes home and uh, puts a manifesto out on on uh, uh, the internet about uh, race or or homophobia or misogyny, and it doesn't affect him at work at all. But if he was uh, named. They would trace it back and go, oh, here's where he works. Let me send this to his boss, see what kind of monster he has working there. I don't think that's fair. I agree with you. And if we lived in a place where a boss would look at that and go, wow, man, that stinks that this guy said that, but it, it, you know, I can't fire him for it, then that would be, that's what we're supposed yeah, to but be. What, what if, what if now people say, I'm not going to uh, buy stuff from his company because he has people working there that are like this? You're saying, you're saying everyone should be, like of the same mindset, that'll never happen. No, I know. That's not at all what I'm saying. No, 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 he 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 no, no, he's not talking to Jimmy. 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 But uh, you're right. Jimmy we won't all be in the same he's mindset. Talking to Jimmy. This. We, you, you, we won't all be in the same mindset. But then again, let's just stop pretend can. that we're this fucking free speech uh, oasis when there has always been shit people got in trouble for, always been relationships that weren't allowed or opinions that weren't allowed, always. We've always claimed the same thing about free speech and freedom to have this, and it has always been a fucking fight or, well, this is okay, but that's not okay. I understand. It's, it's always been sectioned well, You could off. go back to, you know, have you ever been, are you or have you ever yes. been a member of the Communist Party? Come on. Like, I, and they were Those black were the good old days. No, no, I understand that, well, but it's but, now it's just so much more of just a casual idealistic idea will will get you so fucked now. Your opinions of of facts, just your opinions of fact based things that happen. If you voice them, you are uh, like I said, racist, homophobe, whatever it is. Well, so much more of our opinions now are going out too. Don't forget back then, yeah, yeah. you didn't hear everyone's every thought. So now, instead of You're once right. occasionally, there's five thousand things you've said. I had four thousand you... downloads last week. <laughs> <laughs> I think it is because we all want to be heard. Yeah. So it is. There's almost a selfish aspect to it yeah. now, where it's like, oh, I need to be heard. You need to. It's like. You'd think that would help the situation. Yeah, you know, I mean, put sunlight as a disinfectant. The, Everybody, we're all aware that it's too politically correct. So right. let's all join in and go, fuck this. We should be able to say because what we everybody want. turning around and, and calling someone out and trying to get them fired and fuck them is also writing shit that a bunch of other people want right. him fired and fucking uh, uh, penalized. One of that's us right. can be bitten that's by that's it. That, yes. It should be uniting, man. Yeah. That's the uh, marketplace, though. If you, do, if you say something... That is that is purely offensive to one group. It's probably going to be appealing to another group. And yeah, if you yeah, sure. That you as a person want to That's spend your point, time too. or raise your profile to say, "Hey, I'm going to say things that I know that are controversial." You also have to accept that there's risk in that, and you have choices to make to say, "Hey, maybe that means that I don't fit into the job, or I got to go sit into the cube." Yeah. And, and they want everybody to I, I, it's I getting stifling now. You're right. It is getting stifling, getting... and that's just it. I understand with every with every right we have, there there's a responsibility. That's understood. And even with the freedom of speech, there's a responsibility that goes along with everything you say. But there shouldn't be this overwhelming responsibility to not offend people, because that's not what it's supposed that's to be. That's right. I'm not going to incite a riot. I'm not going to uh, um, uh, slander or libel people. Those are the responsibilities that you have to have with the freedom of speech. Not saying, you know, here's my commentary on uh, inner city crime. Here's my commentary on uh, gays in scouting. Here's my commentary on women and their um, abilities in the workplace. 
those shit things will get you fired now. Well, that's because underneath, like that, again, all that goes into how full of shit we kind of are sometimes. Like if we just admitted, yeah, this is who we are and this is how we think, we wouldn't be punishing each other so much. Yeah. But we all like to sit there, and act, it's the same reason Paula Dean got in trouble for saying nigger thirty five years ago, and people act like Matt Lauer and everyone. Oh, oh they were so disgusted she? when we all Ugh, have that said racist phony, stuff. Of course, phony shit that they oh, laid on her. Oh, you. But, she was being but, robbed when she said it, Phil. Yeah, but that's exactly it. Can we bring that into the argument? <laughs> just bring that Seriously, up. Seriously, I hate to I bring know. that oh fact into it. Yeah. If there's ever a time where you might want to drop the N-word, <laughs> you might think of hateful things. Can we make things. a fucking caveat for her there? <laughs> Jesus Christ. There might be some words that you come know, to mind when that's happening to you. <laughs> yeah, right. oh, you. You go over my head. <laughs> You've been warned. Who the fuck, you, Barrymore? There's a big difference from when you're... when. A celebrity or somebody's vilified, and I completely agree with you All on right. that. But but when you think about you know social media and everything today, I mean you're choosing to put yourself out there. That's and, true. And the word well, this is your point. I agree with you. You should still go. You, you wrote a hateful letter to the editor and signed your name to it. You might cause a problem for yourself. Mm -hmm. You should still be able to say what you want. Uh, but, without yeah. a problem. Yeah. Just I mean, that's your question. Yeah. Sure, just accept the consequences. But there shouldn't be the consequences that there are, dude. You no. should be able to say. Yeah, but you're you're saying that you're saying that there there are no social norms. I don't disagree that things don't get out of control, particularly with respect to uh, to celebrities. And, and just the, I mean, the, regular the pounce, people. The mentality. A cop should but be I, able to go on and say. Norms. I'm sorry. A cop should be able to say something uh, that has. And look, it, maybe you can say cops are a little different because we do give them a gun and a fucking and, and a lot of rights. We give cops a lot of freedom because yeah. we trust their ability to handle a gun and to cuff us and take us in a car. And you're hoping they're unbiased. And yeah, they're, I mean, there's mm -hmm. a weird like. All right, is that an insight into his personality? Right. You know, well, who he's dealing with on a day-to-day -day basis. Yeah. Uh, yeah, see, that comes into play, too. All right. But, but, all right, good job, guys. Thank all right, thanks, you. Yeah. not going to get in trouble, because he's on the right side no. of politics he's and show over. business. He's over That's how right. it works. Do you he's understand? Good. If that was... Mm, oh, yeah. If, if just, anybody he's not gonna, on he's, the right... Uh, he's not going to lose his show. No. Uh, no. Will in Ohio. Will. He's impervious. Man, Mr. Jim Norton, I am so pissed off. Because you know why? Why? Because I'm not going to be in Tampa April 11th to 12th at Side Splitters. Oh, no. Oh, man. Oh, no. Edit that from the replay. We don't need that type uh, of talk. That's terrible. From the replay. Seamless. He's very pissed at you. Thank you. Don't Absolutely you know seamless. All right. I have a funny joke I'm going to do in Tampa. Yeah. Oh? I'm like, Florida. I wonder why this place looks like a boot. <laughs> What's it uh, going to look like? Kick? <laughs> I cough? I'll work it out. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> I wish we ended. Oh. Show, I wish we ended the show wow. cold right there. Yeah, me too. <laughs> yeah, you a slow motion car. Nah, you know what we need right now? A fucking a fire in the door. <laughs> <laughs> you want one more, Charlie? All right. Let's go to Charlie not? or Charlie. It depends right. where he's from. Charlie, what's up? Uh, yeah. I'm just. Why are you guys so worried about being allowed to offend people? That's what I don't understand. Like, because it's not being allowed well, to offend people. It's being allowed to voice your opinion. But a lot of times no, your yeah. opinion will offend people regardless. Exactly. I understand that. But, like, why Why are you worried? If you're going to say something offensive, you should know that you may catch some shit for it, like losing your job. Let me ask you. Sure. you see, he's bought into it. No. He's bought, he, he, but the who's judging uh, what's offensive, are you, sir? Are you for yeah. gay marriage or against gay marriage? I don't. I, I could care less. Okay, you, all right. Well, way to take it. But let's just say you're for gay marriage, and okay, I'm for yeah, gay marriage. I, I, That's I, I, a very I, I, offensive I, stance to a lot of people in this yes. country. So, like, you know, I hate gays. It's Apparently offensive. not. Uh, it's passing in every fucking. <laughs> but I mean, yeah. a lot of people find gay marriage repulsive on a fucking deep religious level. Yeah. So me being for is an extremely offensive opinion to those people. No matter where you stand, you're offending somebody, sir. Yeah, so who's well, judging well, what is so offensive yeah. that you should it, lose your job over it? Because well, well, so, well, no, what I mean is like with that, with that website, what was it called? Young um, young people of color <laughs> mania. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah that it's, one. Like, yeah. why, why mania. should you really be allowed to? Well, I mean, I guess you're allowed to. Put How it, could yeah, you yeah, say I'm why should you be allowed? Like, you should be allowed. I've heard you guys say the N word ten times in the show already. Like, but that's like so. In what context? But you, you know the context. And you you're saying N something for that, but like, you, well, no, but people may be offended. They probably but I don't will care. Be. They probably will be. But those are people that would be offended regardless of the context 
of of the language. Right. If they're mad at me, instead of being mad at me or Anna, what they should do first is write a letter to Nicki Minaj, who dropped it 40 times in uh, <laughs> Booking Ass Nigga. Yeah. Which, by the way, phenomenal. You like that song, I Jimmy genuinely now? love yeah, that song. Yeah, huh? Fucking non-mogul ass it's nigga is the best thing ever said in a song. And I stand by that. Uh, what, what's the phrase? Uh, looking at, it's, uh, she says, you non-mogul ass nigga. Non-mogul ass nigga. I wish I could, be, I wish someone would say that about me. <laughs> Because it's what I am. They do. Uh, you're gonna get that. On, you're gonna get that on Twitter now. <laughs> Are you good, Charlie? Yeah, I'll tell you later. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Nice job. See, he sounds like a young kid who, who doesn't get what freedom of speech really is. It really is adorable for how often people call up and go, hey, you old fucks, and this, that, the other thing. It really is this thing where you look at the, the youth of America They've bought and into think it. like, oh, I remember they that. Got em, Anthony, they, the they, they, they got them. Anthony, the Libs won. They got beat us. Whether it's dumbing down the education. They yes. fucking... They, they have to fuck a microphone, okay? I, I think it's very hard for somebody who really hasn't been thrown into the actual workplace yet and having a nice little job while you're going to school or, you know, your first job out of the gate. It's adorable. It's not the real. You haven't been fucking beaten down yet by the actual uh, economy of, of how this country works. Um, so, you know, you could voice your opinions, obviously, but they're, they're not educated opinions. You're you're ignorant of what it's like to be thrown into the American workplace. I smoked on stage at Tampa. Nobody knows cool. how tightly run the club is. <laughs> <laughs> I smoked Thursday night, Friday night, first show Saturday. In between the first second show, Bobby Giuliano, who was there every night, realized I was smoking on stage for the first time. And I'm not supposed to do it. No. And and six people walked out because I was smoking. Really? Yes. And they weren't even close to the stage because I would have seen them get up and leave. Ugh. <laughs> but can you imagine that? So I'm just saying I'm, I'm t making a point about self righteousness. Yes, and, yes, and yes. Leaving a show because I had a cigarette on. You had a cigarette. That's so obviously crazy. they weren't affected by the smoke. They just didn't like that you even had That's it. That's my point. Right, right. It's fucking like ideology. You, he's not on our team. We're out of here. This indoctrination going on. It's been going on for years, and it's finally picking up that steam enough where it's affecting you. I'll quit smoking. Affecting yeah. people. Yeah. I'll quit smoke when I see this smoke come off my cigarette, go up your nose, and your head explodes. <laughs> then I'll believe in secondary <laughs> then smoke. Then you'll put Until it out. then, shut your fucking <laughs> well, you know filthy what? crack. You know how you know that it's an <laughs> arrogance against smokers, too, is because they're going after the e cigarettes. Yeah. Th there's a real arrogance. That has nothing to do with the health, or anything. Where they're making those illegal in the park. Yeah. Because, fuck yes. your, That's sick of That's it's ridiculous. A E-cigarettes. E How are e-cigarettes? Affecting not, yeah, you gotta, the non-smoker. Yes. It's, the, an it, it's, it the, it's the thought that you're, you That's got right. around our little fucking That's rule. Right. We didn't want you smoking. Technology got around it. No, we still don't want you smoking. The commercial, it's a cottage industry. They're having a ball, the non-smoking. Oh, yeah, yeah. See the commercials? Yeah. It's been going on for 10 years now. They... They're they doing movie sets. Oh, the truth commercials. Showing like, open hearts with pus uh, coming out. This yeah. is you if you have a candy cigarette. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. That's way more offensive, by the way. When what, the actual yeah, visuals? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah oh. when you're trying to enjoy a program. They're having a ball with they it, have, though. They're fine with that, but then if someone does an Asian accent on a TV no, program, they're going to find it. You're it's sunk. Like, did, did you see the commercial for the fucking the, <laughs> the cancer the, eating the, away the, the lungs? Yeah, the lady with no fucking chin in the in house. Apparently, smoke a lot. You turn into Popeye. You see I, I, you get the whole. I get it. It's insane, though. That's, that's dangerous. That's accepted, but language isn't. That's crazy. Yeah, I'm telling you, kids. Nick's going to be uh, smoking at Caroline's no, this be. weekend. I can't do it here. <laughs> Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. It's, no smoking in New York. It's no, nickdip.com. Uh -huh. He's got the pot, uh, the podcast on Riotcast. What else, Nick? Yeah, nickdip.com, Riotcast, uh, iTunes. Uh, what a gig. I'm on Twitter. I mean, all the other shit. Yeah, you yeah. killed it today, bro. Oh, yeah. Nick a lot of fun. I did have a Nick in. Love I it. I was off, to be honest with you. Nah. Thank you. Are you kidding? No, you were great. Fucking love it. I think we're done. Jimmy, you got anything? Yeah. yeah. Just Tampa and Caroline's. Coming up, uh, Caroline's 24th through 27th, Tampa 11th and 12th of uh, this month. Are you being called a liberal? On the, uh, no, I, 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 I think Twitter. it's hilarious, by the way. I know, that's Jim hilarious. A liberal. So not a liberal. <laughs> that's, but it's also like people are just such dummies. You know, no, it's, it's, it's two camps and they throw you in one of the right, other. Right, right. That's exactly yeah, I'm, I'm a dumps. hard right wing fucking yeah. religious right guy. Same. You know, meanwhile, I am the furthest thing from that also. I, 
Yeah, conser- I get that. I get it. Like the conservative, uh, I don't even argue with it anymore. You know, yeah, it's yeah. like I just, yeah, okay, whatever. So, because of Patrice, do I, should I send him on tough crowds? Yeah, fucking, yeah, yeah. He's gonna be looking down, laughing his balls off, <laughs> dragging this fucking anchor on my neck for the rest of my career. <laughs> do I love a good abortion? Oh, I couldn't be happier that abortion's illegal. You should have been one. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it, the bear trap. I stuck right in it. I thought I was pro life. And I was listening, they were talking about abortion on the radio in my car. This is true, right? There's 55 million abortions since Roe v. Wade passed. And I was like, that's horrible. Then I went into Dunkin' Donuts, only one guy in front of me in line. <laughs> I guess, uh, all right, maybe they have a point. I'm not saying snuff out a kid's life so I can get my latte. I was like, oh, maybe I am. I fucking love it, man. All right, well, uh, but I'm a conservative. Uh, no. Mm. See you tomorrow. Later, man. Ha <laughs>